Hello, hello. What's up, guys? How's it going? We doing good. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Hi, Omar. I'm about to get out of the tutorial like thing. Um, I just got all four shrines, so we ready to go. You have no idea where we are. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're about to open this door. All right. All right, here we go. Can I do it with just four hearts? No? Did I not hold A long enough? Am I not holding A the right way? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> we aren't worthy. No, we're not worthy. There we go, okay. I must have been messing up and letting go of the button or something. There we go. This is my tear that's all way yo. Alright, we're able to go other places in the world now. Let's go. Link almost died. Madly almost died trying to open a door. <laughs> Would be a very sad way to go out. Yep. I haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. We're almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Hmm. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. Yep, I definitely know who this guy is supposed to be. Yo. I've done everything I can for her. Yeah. Now it is up to you. All right then. He's Yoda get ghosting off. I mean, he already was a ghost, so never mind. Like his hot AF, not gonna lie. True. What's this say to do after you offer the Broderick said he okay All right, we're going somewhere something's happening Let's get up there There we go Uh-huh. Okay, it really wants me to use that multiple times. To show that I didn't cheat. Examine. What did I miss? Not much. Just a cutscene saying Raru saying that I've done all that he's done all he can he can. How is Link able to phase through walls? Oh, it's an ability, uh ascend. Yeah, you can only phase through ceilings, not walls. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it was the fourth ability. Oh man. Is the sword gonna be fixed?
Oh dang. Sword leveled up to level two. <laughs> Wait, what? I teleported it to Zelda somehow. Huh? I wonder what weapons you can make in this game. So many. Uh, Zelda? What the heck? Do you know what's going on? It's gone. And I have no idea where it actually went to. Yo, Link, you should get on the thing. Exactly! True. Link, just get on there. Teleport to Zelda. Okay, that's pretty loud, but it should be fine. Maybe he'll get teleported. Yeah, you should do that. Bro wants to get to- uh, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know that it went to Zelda. Maybe he thinks it just got disintegrated. He never knows. He doesn't get to see what we see. Link. Link. You must find me. Alright. I'll try. Watch it tell me to jump. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Okay. Okay, good. I was supposed to do this. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't have the usual jump thing there. Okay, I want to get hit by not hitting the water and see what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> he died. Death. I wanted to see if it was super goofy death, but it was just pretty much the same as normal. Please don't tell me I have to go through the cutscene again. <laughs> oh crap, I should have saved right after the cutscene. Okay, it looks like I'm fine. I'm fine. We're chilling. <laughs> Why don't you try to make the pole from Wahoo World? Bruh, <laughs> not the pole. Not the Wahoo pole. There's something going on over there. All right. Come on, come on, we can get there. Oh man, we're actually going somewhere. Nice. Hylian Shroom. We got the Hylian Shrooms. Oh, what the heck? Ow! Boy's a bit goofy. I don't want to hit you. Hold on. I want to look at you real quick. Oh, bro's trying to pierce me with his horn, goofy ass. He goes and picks it up again. Ooh, apples. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> the bulk goblin's a little goofy. <laughs> Love to see it. Bulk goblin horde. A sharp horn with multiple barbs. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Okay, good to know. Hiya, Sam J. What's up? All right, let's make let's make a vehicle.
All right, we got to do this. Sharp stick time. <laughs> we love sharp sticks. All right, we're going to... What? I didn't mean to grab that. Oh, okay, good. It works like that. There we go. What's this say? Hylian Restoration Materials. Use these materials to cash for all your building needs. Come find us if you'd like a dream home. Hudson Construction. <gasps> Hudson! Hudson! Hudson Construction! Yo! It's Hudson! Hi, hi Scarface, you're back for some Tears of the Kingdom action. Yo, let's go. Tears of the Kingdom. I, I, did you get the game? You playing it? No, that's pressure. That's on the wheel. I don't want it on the wheel. There we go. We're making progress. We're do this is definitely gonna be helpful. I made a car. <laughs> How are we going to move this thing? I could use a fan. It's not really worth it, but I just feel like doing it. So let's do it. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> car we made a car yo good to know all right so i made a car not much use because it doesn't go very fast and such This definitely beats running. <laughs> definitely. I tried. I'm actually here not to complain about school, uh, but mm, the leave mind blown. Huh? Wow. Hi. Uh, Goofy Akar. I've not gotten to play this game because my brother's hogging the game. Aw, oh, dang. Lurker watches Splatroid make, make Pixar's Cars 4. Huh? Hi, Skipper. Bro works on Cars 4. What the hell? Oh, you can have it ready. You can have it ready to shoot at something. Okay.
There we go. Ooh, Boko Bo. Yummy. Droid, what are you not doing in Splatoon? <laughs> we gotta play this game. This game is up. This game is so good. I love this game. Wooden stick. Rusty Halberd. Ooh, make a really long weapon with that one. <laughs> I gotta find another spear to attach it to. Opal, yay! I don't know if I've gotten an opal yet. Ooh, Rusty Claymore and arrow. That was a lot of weapons, wow. Let me just eat some. Where are the monies? What kind of uh, the monies? Oh, yeah, true. We haven't found a single rupee yet. We gotta get some rupees. All right, where the heck am I going? Okay, that's where it says Zelda is. Uh, okay, I'm supposed to go to the Kingdom of Hyrule. Okay. I really don't think it's worth, worth building. Wow, they put a lot of these everywhere. Wow. Looking for eat your arrows. True, gotta eat the arrows. I was surprised these streams aren't getting more attention. This is a brand new game. Yeah, but it's because there's like hundreds and hundreds of people playing it, so it's not like people are need to find a new streamer for it. Because it's just like whoever's playing. But whoever they know that played Breath of the Wild would be playing this. Got him. Oh, wait. Is that a whole ass Hinox over there? With some Bo Goblin babies? Yo, I want to go fight them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Word? No, I don't think it's a Hinox. That's going too fast to be a Hinox. What is that? Brand new most anticipated game. Excuse you, me who doesn't have the game has no attention to because I'm bad at these puzzles. Uh, fair. Yeah, what the hell is this guy? I wanna go beat him up. I gotta get my arrows ready. All right, we're gonna have we're gonna go some we're gonna make some booms. Oh, he's a bit goofy. Haha, <laughs> look at him! Oh crap, he sees me. Oh. Uh, guys, no fair, my bow broke. Alright, what are we gonna do here? All right, it's just this guy. The music stopped. All right, let's freeze him. see it okay 
Boss Bow Goblin. Okay, Boss Bow Bo Goblin Horn. The band on this uh, short sh sword shaped horn shows that it belonged to a leader. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power or cook it with a critter to make it an elixir. All right. Uh, fang, large fang thrust web. Uh, attach it to an arrow, increase attack power, or steal it with a critter to make an elixir. Okay, you can get more attack power from those. Okay. New stringer buff. <laughs> New stringer buff. Dang. That was pretty fun, though. I mean, I didn't get hit because, like, I know how to play this game, but it was fun. My dad is, is going to freak out <laughs> if he sees one of those, bro. I want to attach this this actually let's let's just drop let's drop a let's let's do this 10 more damage yeah it's a bit short <laughs> yeah it's a bit short but we 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 ball Yay! We're chillin'. Ooh, broadsword. A light, thin metal sword used by the guards to have Hyrule Castle. Its weight makes it easy to handle and enables quicker charged attacks. Ooh, it can do quicker charged attacks. Good to know. I want to fuse this with something good then. Swords more like a dagger on a slash knife. Yeah, I love your spittoon strings, but I'm really just here to chill with you, so this is cool. Oh, I'm... I'm glad. I don't really care about the gameplay in this kind of stream, to be honest. Yeah. Being dead on his Church of the Kingdom streams are, are really helpful since I don't really want to get the game due to the price, but really glad I tuned in. Zelda Ragdoll physics are so silly. I'm glad I'm glad you guys like it, because I know there's lots of people who, do, who don't want to watch it because they e either don't care about the game at all, or they, um, they o they're only here for the Splatoon stuff, usually. But I really appreciate it when the, some of you are around either way. Yeah, swords, stringers got a buff, not clickbait. Bro tries with the horn. Give me those fire fruits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love the fire fruits. Dude, there's just so much stuff to explore. There's so much in this game. I like that you can just do charge attacks. I don't know if it was like that in the past game, but it is right now. Or did they or they don't want spoilers, which is also valid. Oh yeah, that too. I I meant to say that. Yeah. Do I have things to cook? Not really. Not much. I mean, I guess There we go. Speed boost effect. Um, stamina recovery. Oh, they changed this to stamina recovery instead of sneaking. That's weird. Good to know. All right, this is going to be pretty long. I just put a lot of stuff in there. Wait, what? It's not... Wait, am I not supposed to do it with this? Okay, there we go. I don't know what the heck did I what the heck did I put in that dubious food? Maybe I added something that wasn't supposed to be there. Um recipe. Yo, why the heck is that not it? Oh, you can view history of the things you've made. That's so cool. I'll probably get the game later on when I've forgotten everything. Fair. It'll be cheaper then, too, probably.
What do these do? Restore stamina. We're gonna do that and that. Yay, mushroom skewer. Speed boosting. The dubious food is so disgusting that it has to be censored. We, <laughs> what even is in it? I don't even know. I mean, I do know. It's just anytime you mix things that aren't supposed to go together. Like if you mix, mix monster parts in it with food instead of just for elixirs. All right, let's see if this works. You can still cook these. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Don't do that. By type, by attack power, by most used. We're gonna go by most used, that's valid. There we go. The gross pixelated food, I remember seeing that from Breath of the Wild. How do I know about it without playing Breath of the Wild? Internet. We love the internet. At times. Sometimes. Every now and then. Rarely. Oops. Alright, I think I did everything. We good enough. WHAT THE HELL IS THAT?! DUDE A TREE IS freaking ATTACKING ME! What the f- What the flip? I'm guessing fire. HA! Ah, GOT HIM! Dumbass. Okay, more fire. Dude, a tree just attacked me! Only in Zelda a tree attacks you, bro! What is this? What is this? Dude, a tree just a tree just freaking attacked me out of nowhere! Ooh. Oh! You don't have to get that just from Kilton. Okay, so that was pretty cool. We interrupt Tears of the Kingdom to bring you Luigi's Mansion from Mario Kart. <laughs> yes! True. Nice, 15 damage. No, that that noise oh, actually. Ooh, there's a shrine over there. Let's go to that. Dude, that was crazy though. I I love I love that. I I love that that happened though. Alright, let's just attach this to this. Puzzle time! Yeah, puzzle time! Come on, let's get over there. What the hell is that? Whoa, that's something up in the sky. That's also something up in the sky. I wonder when we get back to this guy. This is some of the stuff Zelda was talking about. Hyrule Field Chasm! I'm guessing I don't want to touch that stuff. Let's jump over it just to be dangerous. <laughs> we love to do it. Time to save and jump in. Dubstream, yeah! Yo, JJ. Oh shit, this doesn't look good! I guess they don't want you to do that. <laughs> I feel like that's it, like that's one of the ways to fight a boss or the final boss or something. 
Death is what death was in that hole for real. Wow. All the 10 out of 10 jump scares gotta come from the tree. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this guy's gonna talk about it. Can I touch it? No, traveler, don't do it if you touch that well. It'll sap your strength and you'll end up like me, too sluggish to move. Traveler, are you feeling okay? Folks are calling this stuff gloom. If you care about your health, it's best not to go near it. If you get any on you, you'll start losing your strength like it's sapping your white life away. I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths, and now look at me. You'll recover from the worst of it on your own, little by little, so long as you're on the surface. But while you're in the depths, you won't recover at all. I thought I was going to die down there. Okay. Some investigation leader I turned out to be. This is just pitiful. I'm completely reliant on Davil, Daval, or da Deval, Deval. I'm gonna say Deval. So I really want to recover by noon. Link turns out to be a vegetable ending, <laughs> bro. Gloom, wild gloom. Not a very intimidating name for something that sucks your strength out of you. <laughs> True. It just sounds sad, not skip, not like intimidating. Grab throws in thing. How deep could it be? Whoa, whoa! The vault! <laughs> Look at his face. Hey, buddy, what's the big the idea? You can't just walk up uh, behind someone who's standing on the end of, uh, edge of a chasm. For one thing, a nasty accident like that would surely halt the research here. Chasm investigation is super important right now for the Zonai survey team. If, if even one researcher had to stop, Josha, who's hard at work at, on plans over at Lookout Landing, would cry. Not okay. Chasm investigation. You know, the giant holes that showed up after the upheaval. There are lots of them just like this one all over the world. Huh. You can't see the bottom, so they're, uh, they're so deep, so filled with mystery. We must continue our research for the sake of our dear Josha. Unless the scary part is how sad you are, you are after you die from gloom. I'll see myself out, bruh. Uh, calling the stuff on the ground red sucky grass stuff until someone figures out a name that brings fear onto it, bruh. <laughs> Who is Josha? See that tower over there? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's where you'll find our base of operations and, incidentally, Josha. Okay. Oh, also, don't startle me again. <laughs> okay, I'm very busy with my investigation, no matter how much I'd prefer to be in bed right now. Okay, then. Oh, he's saying the exact same thing. Okay, bye. I gotta crawl up. The birds fly above it. Hmm. Oh, it's gonna be the same exact thing, bro. He's telling me again. Oh, right, we're fine. Also, something not generic, like calling it strength sucker, would uh, just sound like some five-year-old prank. <laughs> Gyozin Shrine. Hyozin. Hyozin sounds better. Hyozin Shrine. Alright, let's go in. Alright, what's in here? Shape rotation. Okay. Whatever you say. I'm guessing I need this to go through here. Yeah. Okay. 
Fair enough. Are there more over here? Like this? There we go. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. Okay. This reminds me of that toy where you put shapes into a hole. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, same. Yeah, I see that. Um, excuse me. I'm stuck. Help. I'm stuck. Okay, so that's not what I'm supposed to do then. Wait, wait it, I know what to do. You do it like this. There we go. Nice. Okay. Hey, see elixir. Bet. Okay, I do need to bring it through here. Ooh, you can grab the chest. Good to know. How do you do this? I, I'm trying to figure out the angle I get it at. Oh, I'm going somewhere. There we go. Crap. Um, might have messed up here. There we go. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Pull down. Okay, we got it. We got it. We're fine. I don't know if that's how I'm supposed to put it, but it works. There we go. We moved shapes. We pressed free school. Let's go. Indeed, it did fit because the whole gimmick was every three e shape fits in a square hole somehow. <laughs> yeah. Now that's ma just making me think of that video. The circle goes in the square hole. <laughs> yeah. It, it works. So why does it just go in the square one? It doesn't make any sense. Dude, does anybody else see it? Did anybody else see that? What is this rock? Does anybody else see what I see? Moai. It's there's a Moai, bro. There's a Moai. There's a Moai. It looks like a Moai from this angle. If you don't see the top of it, it looks like a Moai. Bang bing, put a bump up, put a bang bing, put a bump up, put a bang bing. Moi. Yes. Bruh, when things don't work, j don't question it. It's the easier way. Yeah. Yeah, yummy. Ooh, horses! Let's see if I can get a horse. Let's see if I've still got it. 
I've not gotten a horse in a long time. After I get these. Dude, there's a fly on my screen. When Splatoon changed the way you see <laughs> Moai. Dude, I never really thought of them at all, but in Splatoon makes me see everything is Moai now. Oh, I don't want the bird to scare them away. Ooh, warm Darmer. Warn Darmer? No, warm Darner. Oh my god, that's a rock! I just saw a rock fall from the sky. Oh shit. Oh, I have to go so far. I was about to say, what the hell is that? I want this just so I can make something. Like out of nowhere, when life gives you rocks, you make a, a, a rocket. Instead of life gives you lemons. <laughs> yeah. Where the hell are these horses going? Okay, here's my chance. Here's my chance, okay. Can you tame the horse? Yeah, you can tame the horses. In, in Breath of the Wild you could, so I'm pretty sure it'll be similar. I've got to go for the one with the spots, because those are the easiest. I've got to wait till it's back his turn, though. Turn your back, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. Okay, I guess I'm getting the... Hello. Hi, guys. What's the button? What's the button? Yes. Yes, we got it. All right, we're fine. We got one. Horses, what they do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't have any apples. You doing good now? Now I need to find a stable. Well, wow, turn into a toy horse machine you see at the mall for a, for a moment, bruh. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's start out slow. We don't want to go too fast, or it'll scare him. Okay. Hey, hi Miko. All right, we got a horse though. Dang. 
Oh, I'm actually holding its. I'm actually holding its mane. I don't think that was something in the last game, but I'm not. I'm not completely sure. Don't fact check me on that. Actually, feel free to, because I'd actually like to know. All right, let's go in the right direction. We're going. Miko jumps scare. <laughs> I love Breath of the. I love Breath of the Wild gameplay, bro. This is this is Tears of the Kingdom. After the next time I see with him, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go faster. Miko returns from the heavens, definitely not a Lorax reference, what? They like to follow the trail. Wait, I don't want to mess with the bees. Oh my gosh, those are some choo choo. Oh yes, I love Tears of the Kingdom on Wii U. Tears of the Kingdom on Wii U, Breath of the Wild, bruh. Could it be? Have they been waiting for me? Link? Drozer, I don't recognize you. <laughs> it's you, you're back. Well, where have you been? Burwar, I definitely don't recognize you. Last that anyone saw of either of you or Princess Zelda uh, was when you went to investigate the gloom. And then the castle rose into the sky and everyone's been so worried about what happened to you both. You just completed an annoying stride. Nice. Splatoon 4 looks crazy. Can't wait to pick this up. Bruh. <laughs> Ominous red castle beckoning to you to come closer. What could go wrong? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pure has nearly worn herself out, but trying to figure out where you, you two went. <gasps> Yay, we're gonna go to Pura! Pura is working in, in that large building over there. Let's go. Please report to her right away. She'll know what uh, she'll want to know you're all right. What the heck happened to my horse? Okay. Please tell me there's a stable here. Hi! Oh, it's you! Your arrival is sure to cause a bit of a stir. Hmm? Oh, but you probably need something, didn't you? Well, if this is your first visit, go talk to that soldier in the center of that little fort. <laughs> What's going on over here? Oh. Gralins. Hi, muffins, uh, muffins pie. Look at that obvious red stuff. Best not to get close. Gets close. Well, I'm dead, but I was programmed to die. <laughs> Bruh, I'm still on Time Guardian. How's the open world? It's really cool. I I just got out. I just got out. Link has some long hair. Holy beep, dude. Holy yeah. I mean, I'm right in the middle of giving out orders. This group's going to join the search for Princess Zelda. So whatever you need, it's got to wait until. What is that really you, Link? You've returned. I've got to say that's, that it's a relief to see that you're safe. I'm Growlins, the head of the monster control crew. But we can talk more later. You need to report to Pura immediately. She has to know you're back. Monster control crew, your interest in our work honors us all. But please, go tell Pura you're safe. All right, whatever you say. This looks like it could be a stable. Oh, that's a store. Yo, it's Tears of the Kingdom. It is, it is, it is, it is. What the hell are you doing, bro?
Mm, this presence. Yo, that was Robbie. Okay, let's just let's just go to Pura, even though we'll probably lose the horse, I guess. Can't do anything about it. Alright, we gotta get off. Have you- have anyone had those girls in their classes just know you? Uh, did we ever get confirmation how long Breath of the Wild this game takes place? If it's another hundred years, then yeah, hair will glow, grow, just best not have it Sephiroth long, yeah. What? Josha, that hair, those eyes, duh, duh, doc! Wait, who is this? Oh. Dr. P Pura! The swordsman, the swordsman has returned! Who the heck is Josha? Bro, those girls. <laughs> it's Pura! Yo, it's an actual cutscene! Okay. Now where have you been? She gets a voice actress. Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Hey. That looks interesting. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna wanna do some research on that. <laughs> Step at a time. What exactly happened? What happened? Per uh, head of lookout landing. All right. Someone's mistaken. Mind if I di disarm you? <laughs> so when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle. Yeah. Discover a mysterious mummy. Yep. You read my mind. I didn't have to say anything. Mm-hmm. Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. Yeah, so weird. It must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then later you wake up on a sky island. Saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura pad from an unusual creature. Yep, Zelda. She could look kind of fine. Yet <laughs> true. The master sword disappears. Also, this has got to be like ten years or something because she was a kid. She was like ten years old. Find your way here. She was like ten years old in Breath of the Wild, so. Pearl was. I'm guessing she actually no. It's got. It's got. I'd say five years. I'd say five years, or maybe it's the exact amount. Of, she was. She was like ten. She was about ten, or something like that. She was a little kid. Maybe even six. She looks seventeen. Yeah, she looks something like seventeen now. Maybe it's actually supposed to be the amount of time. So twenty seventeen to now, six years. I'd say six years sounds about right. Well, uh, well, some red aura took control of our arm because we were too busy using our Nintendo Switch as a camera. <laughs> yeah. Then. What? Are you saying you came from up there? Yep. The ra that this Rari you met. I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one in the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the Uphevel. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Yeah, must be. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. I love how that <laughs> how Joshua is just so <laughs> excited. But I need you to meet with the research party up up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for your Utu. The captain in charge of the search is named Hawes. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. I know that Mummy may be still be working lurking somewhere around there. All right, which is concerning to say the least. But we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. He's always called us Linky. 
Don't forget we have events before Breath of the Wild. Age of Calamity exists for a reason. Yeah. Pura. All right. Character profiles. Ooh, we get character profiles. I just realized that. Ooh, we finished that. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. I'm counting on you, Link. Hi, poor Princess Zelda. All alone beneath the castle with that creepy money, mummy. I don't even know what I'd do if I it, it were me down there. Just thinking about it gives me the willies. Swordsman, you gotta rescue Princess Zelda. All right, I'll try. After I stabbing you a little bit. There we go. I must see what the heck is in here. Ooh, diary. Notes on the Uphevel. All right, we're gonna read some lore. Read some lore. I love video game names. 2022 introduced me to Jets, and now we have to find Roz. Yes, Roz. Also, like Josha. And Pura is also pretty good, too. On that day, the land shook, and huge chasms that seemed bottomless opened in the ground. The clouds billowed and rolled as floating islands appeared in the skies, raining chunks of ruins down on us. Ooh, I hope nobody died from that. And strangers of all, Hyrule Castle began to float in the air. It's hard to believe this is our world now. Whoever started calling it the Uphevel had the right idea. An evil-looking haze surged up from the chasms that opened on the surface. The haze weakens everything it touches. People fall ill when exposed to it, and it has another curious property as well. Ooh, what is that? As if guided, the miasma coiled about our weapons. Wait, what? What's miasma? I think that's just saying the gloom still. There isn't a single weapon we know that hasn't decayed as a result. We're calling this stuff gloom. We decided to call the islands hanging in the sky, Sky Islands. Simple and to the point is best, it seemed. I suspect, based on the design motifs on them, that the ruins falling from the sky are Zonai origin. Alright. We still understand so little about the Zonai civilization. All we know is that it flourished in the sky. Hmm. Mummy, I love mummy, bruh. You don't know much about this game. Well, it's true they, that the Uphevel has posed major problems in every aspect of life in Hyrule. I can't deny that it's al also presented us with an opportunity to answer questions that we've long had about our history. Hmm. We started investigating the, falling, the fallen ruins in the Sky Islands. Our best lead is a report from the chief of Kakariko Village that have some unusual ruins and engraved slabs ha have fallen there. I decided to have the Zonai survey team work out of Kakariko Village in Nakluda, southeast of Lookout Landing. The ruins on, that fell on Kakariko Village are massive. You can see them from all the way here at Lookout Landing. Oh, dang. <laughs> Rip Kakariko Village. The crater left by the castle's rise is still spewing gloom. It's kept us from making any progress with our investigation. We still don't know anything about where the princess and Link have gone. The upheaval occurred very soon after Princess Zelda and Link left to explore beneath Hyrule Castle. I fear the two events are related. All right, that was a lot. That was, that, yeah, that was a lot. I just gotta see what's up here. Spewing gloom like the red stuff, or is that, uh, or is everyone in a gloomy mood? See, I don't even know now. <laughs> nice. What the heck? It's a telescope. Look through. Isn't that literally- that's literally just the same as mine, but they don't have this, so of course they would use it. Whoops. Oh, that's water! Bet. That works. What are you guys looking at? Gagaim. It's hard to believe that these ruins just fell from the sky. I mean, they're from the Age of Legends, and now they're here. It's also strange, huh? Yeah, sure it is, but it's also a great opportunity. All of us on the Zonai survey team should count ourselves lucky. If it weren't for the Uphevel, this never would have happened. 
Not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Well, Pura is investigating the upheaval. She's certain it, it'll provide clues about Princess Zelda. Pro progress isn't great, I've heard. Is the princess all right, wherever she is? The, these ruins right here are exceptional, but really, who cares a, about that at a time like this? Oops. Hey, it's one of these guys! They're right here! This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and, for, and use them to produce energy wells. Get producing. The production will require at least 100 crystallized charges return when you have collected a sufficient amount. Okay. How many do I have? I have seven. Wait, no, the other one. The crystallized one. Where's the other one? What did I do to those? The ones that were cool looking. These crystallized charge. Oh, it stays in key items. Okay, good to know. Wait, what the heck is this? Bubble gem. It's eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. Okay, yeah, we still have no idea what those are either. There's so much that I don't know. I love it. I love the mystery. I'm guessing there was gloom here, so they had to put a bridge there. I dedicate this monument to the memory of the lost souls of the Calamity. Aww, that's so cool! That's actually awesome, I love that. Hi there. Wait, is that Bolson? Wait, no, it's not. It's Addison, isn't that one of the- That sounds like somebody that was in the Bolson crew. Okay, that's a nice touch. Yeah, it is. Eck! Whoa, 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 darn it all! Dude, you- President Hudson, are you okay? Wait, where's President Hudson? I don't see him. Oh no, what have I done? Alright, I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over again. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault starting to leave me like that. And yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson. So I so I pin the blame on you. Unforgivable. President Hudson? You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere, and now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he is also the founder of Hudson Construction, and besides all that, sorry, what's all this? Hey, I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of hero heroism. <laughs> well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't, I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission, and that's to put up these signs all over the place to let everyone know that Hudson Construction is a huge, it was a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. It's H Hudson's on them. These portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail. Noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. And so, I've, I've pledged to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson. I'm here for you, but I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. What? I don't, whoa! Unforgivable! <laughs> Bruh, you, you just dropped it. I didn't even get me a chance to hold it. What if I do this? No, I can't. Hey, thanks for the sub! Hi, Splat Roller, what's up? Thank you for the sub. Just want to let you know that a Brazilian is watching. Hey, that's cool. Uh, bro is the hero of Hyrule and he's falling asleep to a company's backstory. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Just glue it to the ground. <laughs> True. Just do anything. Just do something, anything. Traveler's Spear. Traveler's Claymore.
where to begin with another shrine. Wow, you scared me! Wow! You scared me. I'm saying it like wa Wario. Deal with it. Where is Daddy Lazy? I have no idea. Uh, what are you doing here at such an hour? The Hyrule Castle Chasm is nearby. It's dangerous, you know? For all I know, this shrine could be dangerous too. I'd say most things are dangerous these days. What with the pebble? Watch your back. Chasm. What like chasms? Every it, you know the creepy openings in the ground. Ever since the upheaval, they're all over. In this area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle, into the south of Lookout Landing. I heard that members from the research team went rooting around in some and ended up in, in a bad way. It's best to steer clear. I'm glad I'm researching shrines and not the chasms. Let's talk about shrines, huh? You mean like the one right here? When the shrines appeared, it caused such a commotion that they landed in the newspaper. There's a newspaper. <laughs> well, they. That's pretty cool. Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight with smack on the front page, you know? So far, we know that they're from the Age of Legends, but did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? I don't know. And just what are they ever anyway? Aside from the shrines, we've also got the chasms, of course. To tell you the truth, we don't know squat about, about all the things that sprung up due to the upheaval, but the shrines and chasms, they could be dangerous, which could which would be scary, so we need to investigate them pronto. The people from the search party are putting in long arrow orders at Hy Hyrule Castle, so I intend to do the same. I bet. I'm gonna go do this shrine real quick. Freak out when I do something with it. Wah! Suddenly, Waluigi. Ding! Yes. Waluigi! Alright, here we go. Ooh, it's a test of strength. Let's go. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You have, who have entered here, heed my instruction. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Oh yeah, we're gonna flurry rush. Side hop. Target enemy, strafe, jump. All right. Okay, we did it, we did it. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening and strike back. Alright. Ow! I didn't know how long it was gonna take. Let's get him! Yeah, 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 yeah! Droid, I bet you play Toad in Mario Kart, you poorly packaged cereal box. What? You can repair an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Alright. Build up your power, then release it to unleash a charge attack. Char catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. All right, that was teaching me how to play the game. I knew that already, so I was all good. Your mastery of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. I bet. Ooh, a chest. Jord, you are gonna be amazed with the new areas. I, I already have been so much, so amazed. But yes, I'm, I'm ready for more. I still have my stick shield. Because to why? Uh, wait, that command isn't locked to mods only. Why? Why not let uh, why let anyone create a quote when they want to? I mean, you can we can delete them pretty easily, and you can only make them of things that I act that I say. You don't say me or somebody else that's in a, I'm a v in a VC with. So otherwise, nobody ever says is supposed to say anything. So yeah, it's fine. The raisin dates with the atta uh, with attached zoning devices to slightly increase its attach attack power. Wait, where's the zoni device?
Wait, what was I trying to do? I'm trying to drop this. Oh, you can't take him out when you're not here. Wait, what's what's what does that say? Okay, I'll take I'll do it after I draw you can delete the quotes uh, some some of the mods sometimes do Technology we could uh, we could make droids say anything by reading what we say then it turns out a quote. No Don't 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 do that. <laughs> You'll see you said technology instead of technically I guess that makes sense assuming the ones that one knows that before making quotes Yeah, I mean people don't know how to make quotes all of a sudden so like if they ask about it, if they see somebody make one, then they're like, oh, can I do that? And I'm like, yeah, just make sure it's something I or somebody else in this room says. So it's, it, it mostly works. Because you, they normally wouldn't even know how to do it on their own. Whoa, was that opening there before? How could I have missed it? Huh? Um, what is it? We're close to the chasm here. So it's dangerous, you know? Oh, bro. Saying exactly the same thing. Bye. I literally don't care. No on the table. Pura has Pura has sent urgent met orders from Lookout Landing for all of us on the Monster Control crew. As Hyrule Castle continues to float, she's tasked us with searching the area beneath it for Princess Zelda and her protector. Be aware that the gloom has spread even more in this area. B prepare yourself before you depart. Captain Hawes. Alright. Alright, I want to drop this and attach it to this. Whoops. Hey, hey, we got fire. Oh, that's a good one. Very relatable. Droid jump into the glo gloom hole. Trust me. Oh, don't worry. I already did. That was the first thing I did when I found it. <laughs> My favorite quote is quote 777. Bro, my grammar is outstanding. Technically, nah, technology. Yeah. Olive says, Link, is that really you? When did you get out from the castle? I'm so ashamed. I've been on watch duty here this whole time and I didn't see you at all. I've really got to get serious about my training. Captain Haas doesn't know what that you're back, does he, Link? You should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill, past the lower gates. I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. All right, bet. Let me let me set you on fire real quick. Yeah, get him! Ah, dumbass. Stay away. That was close. <laughs> Imagine not being subscribed. Imagine. I love setting people on fire. Let me set you on fire real quick. Droid is still getting out is getting out hands with these quotes. Yeah. Where the heck is Haas? Okay, I just had to walk around there. Huh? Who's there? 
Just like in the chat, Droid reads everything he reads out loud, further proving my theory that he has zero filter between reading it and saying things aloud. Well, I'm supposed to for a video game, okay? You're supposed to for a game. The fact that he reads both messages and this message out loud proves it. <laughs> This area is off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can't just uh, come wandering in, in here like that. Dude, I'm Link, dumbass. Link, it's you? <laughs> he listened to me. So I'm sorry, I had no idea you had returned. Wait, if you're back, then does that mean we don't have the search party anymore? Dude, he literally responded right after I said that I'm Link. Oh, you should go talk to Captain Haas. He's leading search efforts here from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it at the very end of this road. All right. I'm just using you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bro's just tanking fire. Oh, that one just got to disappear, no fair. Who TF names their kid Haas? I feel so bad for him. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. Why is everyone fireproof except for Link? For real. Man's gotta eat the whole damn fire. I guess we can't cook it anymore. Yeah, dude, he just takes it. <laughs> Got him. Don't tell me this is Hodds. Shards. Link, Link? No, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. This area is restricted for only those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is by direct order of Captain Hodds. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. She should be in the first gatehouse up at the end of this road. All right. Let me just let you on fire one more time. There you go. <laughs> Let's keep going. These names are killing me. Shars, bro, sharded. <laughs> he did shard it. He did. He did shard. Yudas, <laughs> we've turned up nothing in here that wouldn't help us. Fi that would help us find the princess. Unfortunately, huh? You're this spitting image of Link. I bet if Cap Captain Haas saw, saw you, he'd be so startled he might even fall off the gatehouse over there. Oh, bet. Let's make him fall off the gatehouse. Nice. I just don't like how the fire one looks on my back. Oh. Wingo, <laughs> bruh. Did you come up here to look for Princess Zelda too? Is there a quote 69? There is. Crissing, uh, crying, pissing, farting, yes. Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help anyway, but the captain is way up on top of the gatehouse there. It doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up th without being asked, so uh, best to stay out of the way until we can help somehow. All right, bet. What's this guy doing? Incredible. Flava. Woo, standing at, uh, woo. Standing on the edge of and staring in it is intense. Seeing a chasm in person is far better than hearing about it. Whoa! Why would you do that? Just stop and startle someone on the edge of the void? This chasm is nearly bottomless, just like all the others created by the Uphevel. Personally, I do not want to hit the bottom of a nearly bottomless ca chasm. Even though it scares me, I can't stop staring into it. Same.
That's enough quotes. First skate house. Oh, here's Haas. Took long enough. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? What the heck? Fall off! Fall off! Link, is that you? You're alive! And all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief! Yeah, we're all good. Oh shit. Big man too late. <laughs> Me, big man kinda, kinda doomed now. No, not big man. Have mercy, Miko. <laughs> Hang on, you're alone, but you heard the princess calling out to you, and you're here to help with the search? I see, or maybe don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. I'm relieved to see you can't you come up here and help us, though. We need some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gone overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Captain, it's Princess Zelda! Wait, what? Wait, really? It's Zelda! Uh, she looks evil. Princess Zelda, she's safe! Yeah. <laughs> Ascends! She just Loraxed! She just Loraxed! <laughs> that was a bit goofy. Wait, what? <laughs> she just ascended! Okay, you saw that too, like? She just. She was just like, bye, have a good time. <laughs> She's just like, I, I'm gonna head out. You saw that Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? How strange. This is an emergency situation. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. All right. All right, let's go. Okay, so I shouldn't do that. Oh yeah, I forgot I could just burn him now. There's some co there's some commotion up above just now. I wonder what that was about. Maybe they found a weapon that was still intact. Now that would be unbelievable. What about the weapons? Hey, it's a new face. During that pebble, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. It's ex I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there was any intact weapons left in Hyrule. There's also a real, they're also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. All right. Yo, you can see the quotes here to discover them all. I get carried away with the quotes. Sometimes, thank God, the person led to droid wine had a cool down. Yeah. Ascends. Yeah. So it turns into a light source and goes to heaven only for her to take a U-turn for fraud, bruh. Nah, 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 it ain't good enough. Yo, you can see the quotes here to discover them all. Just found my first, first flux construct. What a jump scare. Yeah. Yeah, the flux construct is huge. Yeah, that, that one. That, that one freaks me out. 
I died the first time. I moved mountains to save link, uh, the link of the, the quote list. Yeah. Not permitted in there. Okay. I just talked to him, bro. Princess Zelda flew off, did she? You're a funny one. But no matter how funny you think you are, you're not getting through. Bruh. Wait, wait, I need I need to swap to the other one. Whoops, swap. Not this. This. Wait, wait, let's use this. Ha! When it's on a stick, it doesn't work so well! Watch this blow up. Ha! It did! <laughs> we love to see it. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, yes, Mr. Big Man, sir. Quote 35 is a good one, but I would quote with quotes at this point. Yeah. First, I sent it to a friend, then once it, uh, I sent it, it was pinned it, then I save it to my notes so that I can look at it off stream, bruh. Bro really likes the quotes. We have Big Man, um, Abdoneds. <laughs> Abandoned PFP is fry, and there's me, gay cat. Yeah. Pura! Pura! I'm freaking out! What just happened to Zelda? What's up? Link, well, did you find anything? What? You're telling me. <laughs> she literally just said, What? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval, for now at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off as to where... To, to as we look around. Okay, we need a shiver of PFP to make the deep cut tri trilogy, bruh. Yes, we do. Oh yeah, you still got the Pura pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? Yeah, sure. It's a little worse for er, wear, but it seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Aha! Ooh, she's gonna pinpoint something on my map. All right, I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map da data right from right uh, around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Joshua, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Let me see. It's a tower. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Okay. Oh, it's the new version of towers. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. Alright. In the meantime, why don't you just rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergence shelter is just the spot for you. Alright. I totally haven't played seven hours already. Nope. Dude, this game is amazing. Yeah, we love this game. Hi, Jack. What's up? Shout out to Jack. 
my sub to Jack, I... I don't... I gotta get the link. We gotta get the link for Jack OG and... Hope I'm doing well. I'm doing really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really loving this game. It's so freaking good. Yes, I do. Yes, everybody sub to Jack. Just wanted to watch you a bit before sleeping. Yo. How are you? I'm guessing you're past me since you played se seven hours, right? I've only played about like, I think like six, five, six. Five, yeah. It has free beds in a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info. Hi, Swaggy Mar, also. Hi. Talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter is. Entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels, you should go to Mubs's shop. All right. I'll be over, er, I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. All right, Joshua, let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Joshua, you're in charge of this of the switch. What is what is she doing? What is she doing? With her hand. What the hell am I doing? Over there still with no shirt. <laughs> it's a bit goofy. Hi, Kyla. Yeah, I beat one of the major areas. Nice. Okay, Doc, you can count on me. Okay, she did the same thing. Okay, maybe that's just a little thing they do. Okay. That's cute. Wait, Droid, when you're a mod, do links just work as soon as you put the URL in? Yeah. So those balloon things that fell from the sky are called Zonai devices. There's still so much we don't know about them. But trust my boss, Pura, uh, to take a, a thing we know so little about and turn it into something useful. She's the sharpest person in Hyrule. A creative genius. Yes. All right, we got to talk to Robbie. Ah, what a fine afternoon. Hey, 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 you, do you have any idea how worried we've been? Robbie, head of Pura Pad Development. Yo. So what's the arm, huh? So that's the arm, huh? I overheard Pura talking about it. Hmm, I see. It's pretty weird, right? Nope, that's not the time for the distraction. Uh, that's, that's got to wait until later. When does Link get a shirt? He's gonna get, he's gonna get cold for real. I think it's the same thing for a prude user. Yeah. Anyway, I've heard you've got yourself the Purapad now. You know that Purapad of yours can get a lot more powerful. I know it's real potential. I've got big plans for that device, but first I need to help Josha with her uh, investigations into the depths. But then, oh yes, then I will head back to my lab in Hitano Village to resume my research. Okay, so it's intact. Uh, so once I'm able to finish up here, you should join me there. Alright, bet. Robbie's profile has been added. Robbie's so tiny. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go get some stuff. Mobs. Hey, welcome. It's your first time at my store, right? It's the only place to shop here in Lookout Landing. I know it looks a little thrown together, but I stock a nice selection of goods. I ran a store back in my hometown, so so I hope that you'll support my place here. Your hometown? I come from a small fishing town called Lurland Village. Yo, Lurland! It's way to the south, on the southeastern corner of, uh, of Hyrule. Used to be a peaceful place, too. Then the pirates arrived. Yo, pirates! I used to run the village's general store, but then the but when those pirates arrived, I had to grab all the goods I could carry and run. I don't know what's going on over there now. I hope I can return someday, but for now, I'll just keep selling as much stuff as I can. Please let me know if there's anything you'd like. Anything else you need? Buy my stuff. Oh, you can sell one more, just in case if I need one. Um, we got, we have we have a lot of these. We can get a shirt if he steals. No way. There is a shirt over here. Is that interested? 
That's fine. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Anything else you need? Goodbye. If you want something, just pick it out and let me know. God, it's so great. That this Hylian armor series has caught your eye too. A jo jombo. Uh, the design is so cool. It, it fits like a glove. It's popular with travelers too, which means it's uh, it's a must for adver adventuring. Yeah. I'm gonna get a shirt first. Thank you very much. Nice. It's very generous of you, sir. You've made me very happy today. Yay. I need I need more. Only sell stuff to you so you can give me it so I can get stuff back. That plus um Um Well we can sell this last one. Yay, pants. Dub Link, he finally has a shirt. We finally got a shirt. Let's go. I like these pants more. They look cool. Also, no, I can. I'm sorry. I can't wear this. I need to see the beautiful hair. We have to see that. Those gorgeous locks, dude. The beautiful hair. I thought that was his hair, that little flag thing behind. That was on this... While we can. Yeah, while we can. Yeah, there's not really much else I can sell because I, I need this stuff just in case. Yeah, we don't need more arrows. We're fine. Let's go. Link is a shirt. Uh, all right, I'm back. Going shopping, are we? Yeah. Hi, I'm, I'm staying very close to you. Glad to have you back, Link. Scorpius. My name is Scorpius. I have been charged with managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about the place, any at all, come right to me. I'll answer as best I can. Now, please, allow me to open up the emergency shelter. All right. Hey, it's me. Open up. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. Oh, bet. Oh, this is pretty cool. OMG, that's that red shirt left in, in Link's costume palette in Smash. I know something in this game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. Oh, hi. Your link, huh? It says Greeny. Uh, some of the soldiers were just telling me, as a, as a simple man from Lurland, I'm a little star starstruck. We don't see a lot of celebrity celebrities back home. There was no one in my village quite like Cozy. I'll tell you that. Okay, I actually skipped something. I thought it was the same. Hmm. Atmos. Oh, it's you, Link. Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map tends to get all my attention. Are you interested in the different peoples of Hyrule and where they live? That's my ent entire field of study. When I'm out on deployment with the monster control crew, I spend hours poring over the maps. As such, I'm the most knowledgeable in Lookout Landing at about Hyrule's various peoples in their towns and villages. Oh. Aside from us Hylians, there are four other peoples here in Hyrule. The Rito, the Gorons, the Zora, and the G Gerudo uh, each live in a different area and have uh, their own unique traits, whether it's soaring the sky or feasting on rocks. We aliens also live in villages that reflect our unique cultures. The Sheikah are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are among them. 
The leader of Lookout Landing, Pura, is from the Sheikah tribe. Hyrule has eight major places that its various peoples called home. Is it just going to be the ones I already know of from Breath of the Wild? Yeah, don't mind me no knowing uh, all my video game knowledge from Smash. It's not like half the franchises represented are series I never played or heard from prior. Same! Lookout Landing is located here in the central of Hy uh, in Hyrule. Up northwest here, here's Rito Village in Hebra. Yeah. And there's Gerudo Town. That's located in the, in the Gerudo region. You'll find Goron Sita, a City to the northeast in Elden. Travel a bit further east, you'll come to, to uh, you'll come across Terrytown in Akala. Yeah, I helped make that. Not too far away, there is Zora's dom domain. That's what the in the Lanayru region. Continuing into southeast Hyrule, you're, you'll come across a cluster of Hylian villages. These are within an area called Nakluda. Within that cluster, you'll find Kakariko Village, where the Sheikah live. I hear the village leader is quite lovely. If you're seeking a tranquil spot, H Hitano Village is worth a, a visit. I also hear it's become Hyrule's center of fashion. Oh, I oh it's because of that one place, yeah. Um, that one store. Where you can dye your clothes and stuff. Finally, there's Lurland Village. It's a wonderful get getaway destination. Uh, Many of the af aforementioned towns and villages have been deeply affected by the upheaval. If removing even a fraction of the monsters helps soothe the people of Hyrule, then that's what we'll do. Our monster control crew is on patrol each day, from the gathering information from everyone, everywhere. Uh, what about you? I work with the monster control crew. We're tasked with protecting... Okay, yeah. But not really the most skilled in combat, so instead I use my knowledge of the areas to help determine where we should de make deployments. There's been an increase in the number of unfamiliar monsters since they have Hevel as well. Be careful out there. Yeah, there have. Do I want to drop something for that? No. Boko Reaper, yo. Hi. Oh. oh, hey, is that you, Link? Kosi says. It's, I've been nose down, so I don't know what ha what's happening around me half the time. That's This is pretty involved, so I'm going to keep sitting here while I wrench on this. You might have heard, but when the uh, up pebble happened, we all the weapons decayed. I've poured so much energy into trying to fix them, but it's been no oh. use. Yeah, just be before the up pebble, gloom began pouring out of the ground. Yeah. Weapons ride to pieces right before our eyes. It's all been pretty, pretty wild, and I w don't understand how it happened. Yeah, I have no idea why. And how specifically weapons, and not shields too, and not bows. At a time when Hyrule Castle can float, I've given up on trying to make sense of most things. Oh, oh yeah, in case, anyone, um, in case nobody has mentioned yet, you're welcome to the weapons over there. They, though they probably won't be much use to you since they're, you guessed it, decayed. Yeah. Healthy cooking, hmm. Hello. Hey, are you new here? Oh, somebody that's actually taller than me. I'm short. Uh, you may scuff. Well, I missed that. Uh, I can say that because I'm a newcomer too. My my name's Mono, and uh, and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. <laughs> I want to say something fancy like for today's menu, we have a fruit and mushroom mix that'll wherever you up. Uh. Uh, yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but I'm plumb out of apples. If I don't have any, uh, m my most important ingredient, say goodbye to rich, full flavor. My nose is detecting an aroma, a sweet, tangy, pleas pleasant aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? Take this. Well, you're really generous. I'm giving you the first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. Yay, free food. Okay, I'm just brainstorming with no prior knowledge. The locations ha have a tear you need to tear you need to collect. That's my guess. Yeah, calling it Bermano uh, Bermano's special fruit and mushroom mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Uh, it's it's exactly the same as a normal fruit and mushroom mix, my guy. I like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an an, an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. You should you should try making some. Let's talk to this guy first. 
It's the same Hyrulean script, yet and yet it's so different from our mod modern language. I still have a lot to learn. Hmm? Hmm? Wartsworth is this person's name. Don't tell me. Based on your stature, physique, and distinctive right arm, you must be Link. Am I right? Pura has told me so much about you. I'm Wartsworth. My research special speciality is is ancient Hyrulean. Says it all sorts of fruit. We only give you apples. Can't fool me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. If I age it Hyrulean, I don't mean the text found in the ring ruins, but something different. It's what we call the language used at the time of Hyrule's founding. Our modern language is built on that foundation. Hmm. These books here are written in that ancient tongue. They look like gibberish to your average Hyrulean. Are you curious about ancient Hyrulean? I don't have anything to show you as things stand now, but I'm sure I'll someday have results posted and ready for all to see at the lab in Kakariko Village. Okay. Three big ideas. Uh, no, I pretty much know that. Zonai survey team. That's what it's called. Look at all this dust! Oh. Hey, I know that face. Hi, Jaren. Any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in, the, in this shelter. It's all yours to use as you see fit. I think I might have known this lady. Uh... But don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. I spend so much time cleaning in here and there's still endless amounts of dust. And where's all this dust even come from anyway? Bro, why do you care about the freaking dust? That is actually so sad. Oh. Link, right? Dion. You really are that Link guy, aren't you? I heard, mo I heard folks talking about you and your face matches the one on the poster. Oh, sorry. You wanted a bed? Yeah, you can go ahead and take whatever empty bed you like. Oh. Nappin's asleep. Uh... Talking is particularly audible here, so you probably want to bet a little further from him. His physical condition has been deteriorating ever since he investigated one of the chasms. That's despite how long he's been back, despite, uh, which, he, which has been quite a while. He still hasn't made much of a discovery. Oh. Ah. So much about chasms. Nope, 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 not going near chasms anymore. Nasty gloom is everywhere. Make every making everyone sick, making me sick. Trust me when you uh, when you get to, like more items and stuff for your ultra hand ability is so fun. Yes. Glad I ate that yellow paint stuff from the gloom specialist. Anywhere gloom and I'd be canoeing down Old Death River. Aww. Worked my tail off for Joshua. Kids run circles ar around Pura and Robbie. She loves research. Me, I'm sick to death of chasm research. Uh, at least I'm starting to feel better, but I think I'll lie down l low and. Keep lying here. So much crazy stuff. Yeah, there's so much and I'm loving it. I'm loving how there's so much to explore. I think I need one more. I need two more. We slept it. Oh, that's a new song. Ooh, Blood Moon. Ooh, it's gotta be new. New sequence. Witness the Blood Moon's rise. Whoa, it sounds like she's doing it on purpose. When its red glow shines upon the land. Yo. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. <laughs> Just they did in a war long past. Dang. The world is once again. <coughs> Mildly choked on some water. I, I like, I love the Blood Moon. The loading screens take so long in this game. That was not a loading screen. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, yeah, the loading screens do do take long, but at least they're not too often. We interrupt Tears of the Kingdom to bring you Bayonetta's three open <coughs> opening cutscene with Blood Moon and all. Oh, I did not know that about Bayonetta three. I want to go on a survey. Sila, remnants from the Zonai civilization have started popping up all over. This calls for the Zonai survey team. 
Well, it should call for that, but instead they've got me hanging out here until further notice. I spent- I even spent loads of hours memorizing everything in the Zonite survey team book over there. Guess the best thing to do now is to stay on top of the news in each region, so I'm even more prepared when the call comes. Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to Rito. The Rito are all over the newspaper lately. We live out here in Hebra region, as I recall. If I recall, it's in the snowfields of Northwest Hyrule. Some surveyors gr grouse about going there because of how cold it is. When all they need to do is bring proper gear and supplies for cold resistance and go to the Rito in, in to sleep on a luxurious fluffy down bed. So I know it's important to be on standby here, but I wish they'd send me out on a survey already. Yeah. Uh... Today in the Lucky uh, Clover Gazette, mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. Shrines appear everywhere due to shifts caused by the upheaval, says Kimo. Uh, I probably lost 30 minutes of my time ju just from lo Tears of the Kingdom loading screens. Dang. With Perez, their leader, the Zonai team, uh, survey team begins thorough and investigations the world over. Huh, I guess this pa paper is a little old. Yeah. Oh, that's her wife. His wife. Cool. Oh, hi. Monty. Uh, Link, welcome, welcome. Call me Monty. You will find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. This is the emergency shelter where all are welcome. Welcome. Please stay as long as you like. What are you doing here? I, Monty, have been tasked with the illustrious duty of watching the entrance of this renowned emergency shelter. My tasks involve taking orders from my superiors regarding when to open or shut the entryway. A noble task indeed. If only one could go straight through this ceiling ladder rather than use, using a tiresome ladder, ha, huh? but I digress. Yeah. Bruh. Ah. Indeed, this place was originally used by the royal family as a safe haven from in time's need. Uh, it's quite old, so we've get, it, been fixing it up as we go, you see. At this point, we've stockpiled some supplies, and I find it to be downright cozy. Hi. Watch your footing while, while using the ladder. Hello there. Wait a minute. What do you think you're doing? Joshua needs that for her chasm research. Don't touch any of it without her permission. I'll get in big trouble if you do. Okay. Even the arrows? Okay, including the arrows. Pose. What? I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> Sup, Uncle Droid? Yo, Pink Lemonade, what's up? <laughs> Rose. Hey, my horse is still here. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh -huh. That should do it. Ah. Hey, Link, you all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Okay, does anybody see her? Is, does anybody else see this? I see her as like a female version of Clement from Pokemon XY. That's what I that I, I that I see her as Clement kind of the big glasses and the hair being like that besides the the top of the hair, she's Clement. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. I kind of see it, yeah. I just see her as Mrs. Claus, but seven hundred years younger. <laughs> oh yeah, she does look like him, yeah. We're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. Uh, 
No, you show up in and out of the stream too much, bruh. What's this gonna do? Am I supposed to be launched out of that? I hope that's not me. <laughs> what the heck is that? Whoa. That's pretty cool. Okay, I like that. Did he just send out some nukes? What the hell did Ganon do to you? <laughs> All the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Bro, they just decided, well, this, I think we're doomed anyway. Might as well just blow up the world. Among us! It looks like the Alpha Towers. Okay, Link, your turn. You're gonna launch me now? Go hold the per pad over that term term terminal. Words. Nice. All right, the sky view tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for Ed every sky view tower you add to your pura pad. Impressive, right? The sky view towers are, uh, are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area or more simply put to make a map. The Purapad works with the sky view tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, hmm? hmm? Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here ha it has what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this! Yeah, we got the paraglider! We got the paraglider, let's go! Let's go! This item given to you by Pearl lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Press X in mid-air to activate it. Now Link has a nuke. <laughs> we do have to leak to you. Bro, let's go. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with a test scan. Now it's time for our very first launch. I mean, our very first test. Just over there. Into the circle and find me afterward, alright? No, it's a launch! It is a launch! Oh, shit! I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah. The... When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda, and I'll also need to update your map within places where the uphevel has wrecked the most havoc. The paraglider from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, ex Breath of the Wild, free update, yo. Pearl Loki has Marie's hairstyle. True, she has Marie's hairstyle, you're right! Best of luck, thank you. Alright, time to be a nuke. <laughs> oh shit, that does not look good. Ow! Whoa, he has so much emotion! You, you could have just told me to plug that in. You didn't have to force me to do it, bro. Let's blow up. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no way, bro. It's a mix of sugar glider and a nuke. What the hell is that? What is the plan here? What is the plan here? Oh, I've got a paraglider. I'm good. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to scan it. He's gonna die. <laughs> He's doomed. That's pretty cool. <laughs> the ladies from 2023, Pura from Tears of the Kingdom, and Marie from Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass, specifically Expansion Pass because 2023. All right, surface and sky. Sky map updated. We have a surface and a sky map. I forgot to, I didn't even notice that. I haven't even been looking at the map besides the mini map.
There we go. This game impossible because of this absence of glitches. It's just Fortnite. <laughs> Sky strainer map symbol noise. Ha! Nice. Yo, Link lives. Yippee! Hyper up. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Yep. Good, that map is crucial to our search. There are sky view towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Yeah. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. It's more affected it's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. Alright, you're gonna tell me where they are. The first report comes here from from Hebra to the northwest. Oh, that's pretty far. Next up is Elden to the northeast. Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest, and finally there's uh, there's Lineiru to the east. These the strange phenomena have are concentrated in these four regions. Hmm. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we must find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Hmm. Hey Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard some something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebra recently. Huh. Rito Village. This is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. Fallen Hero Timeline, but again, no way, it is. Fallen Hero Timeline sounds like it goes hard, huh? There's nobody who knows more about the goings on in Hyrule than them. You can find them more, you can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way too. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone somewhere might know what's happening to the princess. Yeah. I'm counting on you to, che to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule, Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. I gotta find goggles! Sorry, can't talk now. There's something I gotta dis discuss with Goggle right away about our research into the chasms. Let's talk later. What's going on? For my part, I've been thinking a lot about this village aside from the four regions I asked you to talk check out. I'm hoping to learn more about the situation here too. What other village? Kakariko Village, home of the Sheikah tribe. It's off to the southeast in the Nakluda region. Zonai ruins, each shaped like a ring, fell directly on top of this village. Hmm. There's got to be a special reason for it. Right now, the Zonai Surveys team's elites are taking on the investigation. If you want to know about the Zonai, you should talk to them. If you want more info, talk to Atmos down in the shelter. He can probably point you in the right direction. He helps deploy the monster control crew squads to where... Uh, they're near needed and has extensive geographical no knowledge. He can tell you more about than I can about various regions and peoples. Anyway, I can get help from the research division for this. But I'm entrusting the investigation of the four regions with the phenomena uh, to you. Oh, by the way, have you talked to Robbie yet? I'm leaving everything per, per pad related to him. He was going on and on about ideas for improvements with it. This needs that, and this needs this, and what they ha and what have you. If you haven't run into him yet, you should go say hi. Okay, cool. Why does Josha look like that nerd love interest, uh, interest in XYZ? I... I don't remember which one you're talking about. Yeah, I don't. Come on, stop raining. Come on, please. <laughs> She's taller than him. Oh, it's you. You know that purr pad of yours may seem perfect, but it could be even more perfect. I'll need to head back to the lab when Josh has got the depths investigation sorted out. Come on, goggles. Are you even listening to me? 
Oh, she looks mad. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, sorry, you were saying? I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not gonna listen to me, I'll just go and jump into a chasm myself. No way, no how, you can't do that. The depths are too far, are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we, we've only just barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around t down there too, and who knows what wonders at the bottom are, are at the bottom of those chasms. How much more perfect can our Nintendo Switch be? True. Before you do anything, you should talk to Robbie and do his quest. Trust me, it's so cool. Yeah. Uh, she appeared in that episode centered around Bunnelby and Little Pony's pre Evo. Yeah, I don't remember. It was years, like five plus years ago when I watched that. No matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anyone were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end! But I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it, it should help us better understand the depths. The, what figure? Oh, Swordsmith. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Joshua, heads, head of depths research. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. How much... I mean, it already has a camera, clearly better than the technology we got, am I right? I, we can't have a Switch console with a camera, right? <laughs> yeah, true. Unless... Switch Pro? This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. See that figure standing up on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it'd be the, it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. That's why I want to go down there, so I could ask if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. The goggles here says it's too dangerous, and he won't let me go. Josha, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure in the, on that slate. And Link will join me! Bet! We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your Purapad's camera to take on a picture to take a picture of it for Josha. A perfect plan. Camera? You don't know about the camera? It's, it's one of the Purapad's basic features. With the camera, you can capture a nearby scenery as an image, one that's stored in your pad there. Sound, sounds like you still have more, more to learn about the Purapad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures, once we're down there anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see, I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of, the, of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and re ready to go, come find me there. Ta-da! Wait, hang on. Oh, there he goes. Looks like he's gone. <laughs> this guy's just here. I'm sorry you got roped into all this, swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he uh, wants to help me, he leaves before he looks. Tears of Kingdom leaks Switch Pro. Re uh, uh, real? For real. Speedrun finding a Tears of the Kingdom glitch now? Yo. Here, maybe this will help you out at least. Right bloom seeds, yay! Oh, and take this too. Yummy! The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black, but if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you'll want to head straight out of looking uh, Lookout Lady's southern gate. You'll find the chasm goggles you use just outside. I don't know too much about your, how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. All right. This is my favorite area in the game. You're about to be amazed. All right. Don't no, not too spoilery though. Well, he zooms secretly lightning the queen in disguise. Yo, that like the, a car can turn into a, a short little guy with goggles. Time of this busy with work right now. Carson. Oh, it's Carson. We know Carson. Wow, what a relief. I was seriously uh, uh, worried about you. Where have you been anyway? Uh, sorry for the excitement. I'm just happy you're back. I've been sorting out whether or not I can build a mini stable and lookout train at landing. Lester has come here to care for the horses, so it'd help him a lot if he had a proper stable. The project would likely take me a while to complete, but once it's done, you'll be able to take full advantage, Link. Okay. I gotta go get my horse. Goggles from Splatoon manga? Yo. Also, sorry if the 
Uh, if the stream is lagging, there's really nothing I can do. YouTube's just being goofy. Okay, there's a horse just doesn't like to go faster here. The stream laggy for him. It's just laggy. Yeah, it's pretty laggy. There's nothing we can do about it. Sorry. Link 2023. This is a game, most likely. No, it's not the game. It's it. it it's actually it's that. Ooh, let's hurt our horse. No, the horse won't go near it. Okay. Awfully close. Where's Robbie? Oh, hi. Mentor. Sorry, I'm a little preoccupied to deal with travelers right now. That's what you are, right? A traveler? It isn't safe here. Captain Haas's squad of monster controllers is going to engage the monsters around here soon. I bet. I bet you by now they're already locked in combat with the monsters at the lair to the south. I'm not gonna stop you if you want to watch the sparks fly, but at least take some precautions first. All right. Suzuna. Hey there, you're a bit late, hmm? Oh, you're not a member of the monster control crew. Sorry, we just formed, so I'm not overly familiar with everyone's face faces. YouTube secretly Nintendo this whole time, bruh. Explains why we can't dis see dislike count. <laughs> It's weird walking around Hyrule Field without any worry about uh, without worrying about guardians. True. As we speak, Squad One of the Monster Control Crew, led by Haas, is carrying out a mission nearby. If you go south on that road, you can see them in action. They're assaulting a monster stronghold. Okay, this. Uh, let me just gotta push stop streaming, then start streaming again, real quick. Let's see if that helps at all. Okay. This is here for logistical supports, tending to the horses, making elixirs. Come to think of it, I did make some extra elixir. Why don't you take some? Might come in handy during your travels. Sneaky elixir, yay! Candidly, I'm a little worried about this mission. The new members didn't get much in the way of training. I, I wish someone with experience fighting monsters was there, was there to help out. Ha, too bad. I'm not helping. I'm, I'm gonna do this with Robbie. But where is Robbie? What the heck are those? Dazzle fruit, a fruit charged with a powerful light. Break it to unleash dazzling sparkles that blind any monsters nearby. Ooh. That's pretty cool. 
They had to red highlight the words that specifically refer to Link. Uh, oh wow, if one somehow doesn't know what that means, I think they shouldn't play the game. <laughs> True. Well, it's just gonna feel awful forever. That's cool. Am I supposed to talk to this guy and then Robbie shows up or something? I don't know. This is seeing the urge to tell you exactly what to do. Oh, <laughs> yeah. If I need to, I'll, I'll ask you. I wonder if Robbie's okay. Okay, yeah, it's definitely talking to this guy. Whoa, whoa! Hey, you again? I told you not to sneak up on me. Can you see I'm right on the edge of this chasm? My colleague who works with me on the Zonai survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Huh? Don't startle me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. Okay, he can be down here. I don't know how the hell he got down here. Oh yeah, this balloon thingy. The depths. Oh, this is pretty cool. Are you Link Ponic? Um, pleasure to meet you. I'm Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you once uh, to him once you arrived, but he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright loom seeds, and now I've run out, so I lost sign of sight of him. Oh. I thought he was taking a short walk over that to that glowing area over there. Then he just keep kept going and going, and that at last I and, and last I saw him, he was heading way out there off to the west. Do you have any bright loom seeds with you? I I, I don't. That's no good at all, right? Okay. Ah. Those have skills enough with a bow and arrow attached. Uh, we'll attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down here. Yep, I know. Ah. Grabbed me in such a rush that I didn't gather enough into advance. I want to get these. What the hell are those? Deep firefly, a multi-wings insect that lives in the depths. It, excre it excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked into an elixir, which will add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. Why would I want to glow? Oh, just for while well, underground. Good to know. What the heck? Examine. Why wouldn't Link want to glow? Too true. OMG Link went to hell. He can find Zelda here. Bruh. I wonder if the NPCs of this game are basically me characters like in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I don't know. Kinda, probably. They seem similar. What'd it do? Give me a map of this place? Oh, there's depths map too! The light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding era area. Why does it tell me about my hearts? Oh, it literally made it bright. Wow, that's...
What? It's basically just the upside down. <laughs> yeah, kinda. I don't. I didn't watch Stranger Things, so I don't actually know. Hey, you still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. You get too close to that stuff and you're asking for trouble. If a guy didn't have any bright blooms, it'd be curtains. Then again, it's my first time down here and I still haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I've, I've just spotted something of interest through my goggles. It's shaped like that figure Joshua wants us to find. I'll be continuing to head west toward uh, one of those glowing routes I see ahead. See you soon. Alright. Ah uh, yes, the three maps in this game. Earth, Heaven, and the Underworld. Uh, the... The, the overworld, uh, the nether, and, and the end. Muddlebud. A wildflower with a powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. Ugh. Ooh, we love bomb flowers. I really love bomb flowers. I don't know if this is super spoiler, but you really don't want to get hit by the enemies here. Yeah, don't probably don't say that. Uh, don't don't just just don't really say anything about that. I, that um uh, like even that next time, okay? I figured out how to shield surf on my own. I want to climb that. Whoops. Can I climb that? Let's see. I think I'll make it. Yeah, I'll make it. Not although, if not without jump, I still have jump, so. Well, I almost fell off instantly. Guess I'm going higher. Okay, I'll shut up unless you tell me otherwise. Uh, yeah, yeah. Probably best. <laughs> oh, right, stamina. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah. Whoa. This is so cool. The depths. I'm gonna go higher. This is like climbing up ladders in Pokemon Violet. I haven't played it in months. Huh. Were you able to get out by climbing or steaming up boys you and you can't leave? I, I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to get out except for talking to Robbie. I wanna break this. All right, let's go to the top. See if there's some, uh, something to collect at the top of it. Probably won't be, but just want to see.
Huh? Can we get much higher? So high, bro. I've not done anything in Violet after getting a shiny hero or is such a nice view of the world. Yeah. All right, let's let's throw this. <laughs> Got him. Ooh, large stone knight. Bro, headbutts. Moblin horn. A hard horn that resulted from a skull mutation. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power or click it with a crater to make an elixir. They light on fire when they die, bro. In the D's Nuts video, he says, Gotti, not got him. Oh, Gotti. Oh, that's what I placed there. <laughs> Guys in John Gotti, well, that's how he pronounced it. Gotti. Well, got it. Uh, a lot of the weapons in this game is are wacky, and I'm not even talking about the fusion stuff. Bomb flowers? What? Yeah, bomb flowers. We love explosive flowers. Gonna get a bunch of these. Oh my god, those choo choo look don't look fine. Those choo choo did not look okay. Oh, you get only get one of those if you do that. Dang, don't want to do that. Wait, how did I not die? My maximum number of hearts will dec decrease. Oh shit!
Puff Shroom. Yo, that's from Plants vs. Zombies. Bro, I care less about Wicks at. Oh god, what's happening to the stream? Oh no. It broke off. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh, it only took one shot. A Aracuda eyeball. This eyeball is constantly trying to focus on its targets, cook it with a critter to make an elixir, or attach it to an arrow to grant a homing quality to the arrow. Oh nice, it does the same thing as other eyes. My end screen's... Uh, my end seems stable en enough for for a wix ads happening suddenly. It's fine. I was able to skip. Not the worst side I could have gotten. That's good. Oh, this looks like something I want to. F oh, I, it's not. I I thought I didn't I didn't realize how big the explosions would be. Mildly didn't realize how big it was gonna be, and I had I had not saved. Imagine saving. I'm here to watch a video on power uh, on a PowerPoint presentation use in YouTube. Let me just get these guys again. There was nobody up there, so it didn't even matter. Spreads a cloud and finds spores when a stimulus is applied. Okay, so we want to use that. We want to shoot that at somebody. That's this. That's like a smoke bomb. Oh crap, 
Or is it? Oh, it's bigger than I thought, but it only takes one hit. Weird. Yeah, maybe that's just the weakest one, Red Bull Go equivalent to Red Bull Goblin. It's like not like the one uh, the one time I got a four hour long ad when watching YouTube on my Switch, bruh. Like actually four hour, or just where it said it, but it wasn't actually four hours, and you can skip it or something. Where the heck is Robbie? Wait, if you just throw a die, does it work too? Yeah. Nope. Here, let me just... Yeah. There we go. Hi Andrew plays, what's up? Yes, yeah, actually four hours. Good thing I I could skip because if skipping wasn't allowed, I would hit close out the video and re-click it. Yeah. Ooh, Bo Goblin arm. It does 20 damage? Excuse me? It does 20 freaking damage? Yo, eyes. It literally does 20 damage. Five hits of 20 damage. It's quick to break though, that's the thing. Ooh, creepy noise, we love it. There's Robbie, took him long enough. I use this uh, light root. Now that's a lot of damage, yeah. So it gets the light up more. Nice. The light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. We didn't even. The thing is, this wasn't even in the trailer. The underground, the depths. Like this is a whole world that we didn't even hear about. I mean, unless there were you were it was leaked for you, but. Yeah, it's crazy. Where'd Robbie go? Robbie! You goofy ass. Okay, there he is. What? That, look at how bright that thing got. That, the, that light down in this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm, in fact, it's so luminous. It's almost like, like we're on the surface. Just standing in the air, it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. All right. The statue. It's standing tall on two uh, legs, one arm raised high. It showed off the depths for a little bit in the second trailer. Oh yeah, you're right. With where they when they shot the arrow, the light, the light flower arrow thing. It looks like an off. It looks an awful like the the figure Josha showed us a picture or er, showed us on that piece of slate. Don't you think? Yeah, kinda. All right, get that camera of yours ready. It's, it's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot uh, you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the Purapad's basic features. Hmm, give me that Purapad for a second, all right? Well, there's the problem. Your camera is locked, and so is your Hyrule c Compendium. Hang on, if I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this and you tap that and... There we go, camera. Capture images using the Pura Pad. You can sa then save them to the album. 
Yay. All right, leaks. Why do people leak? I remember when people uh, when people first saw the Fire Emblem Engage leaks in summer of 2022, and we first saw Pepsi Man and Colgate Chomp. Right. Boom. I should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So, go grab a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that's properly working, too. Test it out. Experience it is the best teacher, after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I'll want to see how it looks. Hey, you. How'd that go? If you capture an image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. So, did you get a good picture? Yep. Stupendous. Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense route, getting us a picture of that statue. You've just started helping us research what's down here, but soon enough we're going to have to... to we're going to have even more to investigate. I wonder what the final ability is? Yeah. Camera in this dark place? Really? Yeah. Only when you light it up. Well then, it's time I head up back up to the surface. See you at the le lookout landing. M don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. Alright. I love how he just teleports. Wait, wait, wait. Daphne's Canyon Mine. Oh, what the heck is that? We're gonna want. Let's try explosives. Oh, it's actually working. That actually worked. NPC's got the luxury to just teleport out of thin air while we have to work to escape. On oh, God, for real, they cheating. I don't have any more explosives. Let's see fire. Nope. The NPC don't even need to wait three minutes during the loading screen. Damn, they don't have to wait for the loading screen. Nah, bro. So unfair. Is this stuff and will the camera tell me guess not okay but how we're underground hello yeah I don't know how to get out but I know I guess I'll just go back the way I came in All right. 
right? We love having lots of Zonite. You have to teleport out. Oh yeah, you can just teleport out. You're right. Let me just explore as much as as I can find first then. Nice, more of the flowers. <sighs> Had to look cool. We got 91 of that. Why can't we play as the life of an NPC just sitting, teleporting when needed, having generic dialogue? It's, it, it, it'd be fun. <laughs> That'd be cool. It keeps going. There's still more. It'd be a free game with nothing to do but fun, yeah. I'm having fun exploring this place. It's pretty cool. It goes so far. It's spread. It spreads across the entire map. Yo. That's actually pretty cool. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. It's so empty, yet it, yeah, it feels so full. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Zelfo's horn. Zelfo's talon.
Can I get close enough to at least use it for this? There we go. That works. Oh my god, that is such long range. Oh, bro, look how, look how long range that is, bro. Flowers can be bombs. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Playing as an SBC is most likely just, uh, just a be bullied sim. <laughs> True. What the hell is this? Poe. A glowing spirit orb found all over the depths. Offer those to a, offer these to a bargainer statue for a variety of rewards. Wow, there's so much to this game. Attaching a spear to a claymore equals helicopter. Helicopter. We we gotta have the helicopter. I'm just so happy we don't have to climb the towers. Same true. Attaching a spear. Uh, I bet Fireen would like the flower, fire, fire, flower bombs. Fire emblem joke. No one understands, but that's all right. <laughs> I think I have so many of these so I can go pretty far. Oh, there's a wall there. There we go. Why was it not counting as... There we go. That looks interesting. I'm going there. Even the climb climbing the towers was not that bad because we had glitches, true. But still, we don't like climbing the tower anyway.
This one hurts rocks. Nice. I got him. You couldn't do the glitches? Well, I mean, you need to be skilled enough to do said glitches in the first place. The first place. <laughs> Dang. Oops. Whoops. Let's use this so they can't even reach me. Was hurting the trees too. Gotta keep that combination in mind, gotta be honest. Rock cameras are useful. Most Breath of the Wild glitches were not difficult input timing, uh, uh, but just doing them in the correct order, yeah. yeah. Wait, is whistle sprinting still possible? No, it's not. Dang. Aracuda wing, a large wide air ar ar Aracuda wing. Uh, arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item attached, even in a slight wind. Oh, good to know. That's useful. Doesn't give me anything. Wow. Why does the title say first playthrough when I thought you played yesterday already? A uh, playthrough is the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> it's not first time playing, it's first playthrough, which is the whole game. back towards the thing.
Uh, well, sounds like a Pokemon game. I gotta lie. Yeah, true. Oh, I didn't know. Sorry, my English is bad. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. No one beats a Zelda game in one day on launch. Yeah. I found a method to be able to use a wing off a cliff, a wing off of any cliff. Oh, yo, that's pretty cool. Most out of these. I'm just gonna get a few more of these. Oh, you don't even need a crouch for those. Good to know. That was close. Oh, that's a s stall Nox. I gotta fight this before I go. Hey, big idiot. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You wanna go? Let's save. Probably. I'm trying to hit your eye. There we go. Let's use this one. That's most likely someone who, who sent a review copy. Well, there's probably someone out there who's already beaten the game. Yeah. Oh wow, that took a lot of its health when it since it was the last hit of the Oh Its eyeball fell out, that's what had happened. No you don't eyeball 
All right, let's use this. No, I think I have like one or no arrows left. Bruh. Come on, hit me. Oh! It's predict- it, it knows how to attack where you're going. Dang. Okay, I still gotta fight this guy, though. I still gotta fight this guy. I'm sorry, I can't finish. I can't not fight this guy. Even so- The human society got gamers would probably be in one day just because they don't touch grass. True. But you just don't know how long it is, though. Alright, let's- let's fight a high- let's fight- a uh, stall ox. Okay, you almost threw that at me, and I probably wouldn't have been able to dodge that. Okay. Alright, this is my most damaged weapon. Oh my god, that was too close. Come on, I need to blow it off.
Oh wait, how long is this gonna take? Bro, he has so much health. It's not even playing the music anymore. Is that a glitch? Or was it just out? The music was just over. Okay, we're, we got him. We got him. That took four minutes. There we go. All right. Let me get those goodies. Yeah. Large crystallized charge equal to 20 normal ones. Nice. We take those. Hinox tooth. We love teeth. Stalnox horn. Impaled skulls would serve as, uh, should serve as a warning, but if you do obtain one, attach it to a weapon to vastly increase its attack power. 29 or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Wow. That adds 29. Soldiers claim more. Oh my god. Oh, nice. That was a lot of goodies. All right. That was that. GG. Yeah, GG's indeed. That was fun though, cause I had to just figure out how to not die. All right, let me just see this one last thing, then I'll go, cause I'm out of these things. Wait, 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 no, I need to stay here for a second. Hold on. What's... What's Giant's Grove? Grove? There's another one?! Bro! I just took four- It just took me four minutes to fight one, and there's another one?! Oh, there's another one! Wait, no, there's trees. Oh, it's the trees. I thought there was another one right next to me. Dude. I'm pretty sure I need something better for this one. The fight in this. Snorlax takes forever to beat early in a game in Breath of the Wild. Huh. I forgot that. There's another tree. All right, what the hell is in here? Oh, that's a tree. Oh, that's just the stuff. Chest. Nice, another large crystallize. Dark clump, an unusual substance. It's cold to the touch, and it seems as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Using it in cooking to get a gloom resistance effect. Ooh, nice. Alright, that's probably enough exploring this for now. We- I, I found a lot of stuff there. Alright, let's go back here. Bro, what are those tree enemies called? They scared me! Bro, when I first got off of the skyline, a tree started st st it was stalking me. Dude, they jump scare me so bad. Like, that one made actually made me jump. <laughs> the tree jump scares are awesome. I can't believe they alived trees out of all things. Yes, I love it. You found a hydra? Huh? Dude, this game is awesome. This game is so freaking awesome. Dude, I love this game. All right, now I- okay, you get your health back after you, you get back up to the surface. Wait, this is the wrong one. I meant to go to the lookout landing. Okay.
It's the same exact noise, nice. I love how they keep some noises but change some, uh, some others. Oh, it's showing you moving in the loading screen. Do you see the cave hooligans, huh? What the heck? There's a... Who is this? Ah. Pen. He's got a really big beak. Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Mm. Link. Link, you say? Hold on, really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy. <laughs> You've got the same name as that famous swordsman. Ha, good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. I'm Penn, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event so folk, folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get off to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I'd, I, I've had to flap all over to the place to cover the news. Hey, we can use another reporter. You should join us. Sounds like, seem like a gr brave type and all. That's all, that's what it takes. Our use newspaper is based on, in Hebron in the Northwest. You'll find it in, in, in you'll find it near the bridge that leads to R R Rito Village. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime in the newspaper biz. Until then, soar long. Bye. Excuse me, can I move now? Okay, there we go. <laughs> the guys that crawl on cave walls and ceilings, you'll know when you see them. Okay, I must not have them. No, these new enemies are S tier. There's, there's so many good new enemies. Bird, 10 out of 10 game, it has a bird. <laughs> but you can't pet the dog, so it's an, an, a 0 out of 10 game. Hey, you, show Joshua the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool, too. All right. Hey! This is it. This this does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, wh whoever they were. Which confirms my theory uh, that people live in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now what's next? The possibility is there's so much more to research. Oh, and before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all this. What do you think it's for? Zonite. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy or something. Anyway, they might help you get in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you find them useful. That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. Nice. I'm going to sift through everything th that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. Yay. Great job getting the picture. Should be able to show you how to use a camera. Pure pad days you more stuff. Listen up, big update here. Your pure pad can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Come on, act more impressed. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who knows the shrines after the upheaval, so I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the pure pad research lab in Hitano Village. Pura Pad Research Lab. That's right, it's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the Pura Pad, which Pura and I developed. Once I'm in that lab and you join me there, I can further improve your Pura Pad, uh, starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nikluda, all off in the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its far side uh, is Hitano Village. Go a bit far farther than that and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you, it's a cutting edge lab. All right. But for now, Josha's investigations are my main priority. So until she gets further along, I'll be staying here for a while. All right. You who stand before me, I am the one who returns posts to the afterlife for where they belong. Offer posts to be their spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. Pose. Pose are pitiful beings, but good, evil, there's the feudal perspective of narrow-minded beings. There's no such distinct, uh, distinction in wandering spirits. You've already obtained Poe. Here's a Poe for you. Oh yes, this is indeed, indeed a Poe. I have returned the lost spirit to the afterlife floor it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I have been unable to return Poe to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist them once again. You should take this. Yay, Dark Clump. If you offer me more pros, I will give you suitable compensation. Mm. 
Nice. Offer pose. My brethren, the, whose spirits reside in statues for far larger than mine, are in the depths of this land. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my own game now. Have fun. Thank you. Have fun. You too have fun, Bandy. You don't think you have enough for 99? <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. If you encounter my brethren, try offering pose to them. Where are they? If you offer me 10 pose, I will tell you. You don't have enough pose to offer. Dang, you just took all of my pose though. Yeah, that's definitely a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> you can't do those until you do this one. All right, I'm gonna go to the Rito first. Let's let's use this to go super to go pretty far, at least a little bit. Uh, grab the lizard. There we go. Korok! Now imagine if Tears of the if the Tears of the Kingdom OLED switch was just was the Pura pad. Dude, that would be insane. That would actually be so that'd be so perfect. Why did they not do that? Genuinely, actually. Why? It's going to be a long walk. Whoa! Don't want to get hit by that. Ooh, nice. Oh, those creatures how many seeds is it like 900 last time last time it was 900 i wouldn't be surprised if it's more than 900 or or actually maybe it could it could be less <laughs> Got him.
Is this guy holding up this one now? Ah. Putting President Hudson here too, but I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more sides s s to spread around. I don't know what to do. I really should redouble my support. <laughs> those signs are not very steady. Watch it be something like 500 or 1500. Yeah, it's one of those. 900 times 3 since there's th 3 maps. Dude, that would be crazy. 100% would take so long if it's like that. Dude, I do not recognize this place. But just because I haven't been- I, I never even was- it went everywhere in, in Breath of the Wild. I went- I, I mean, I went most places, but there were like small places, insinif, ex, insignificant places that I never went. Yeah, this isn't much use to me unless I have a fan- a, a better battery for the fan. What the heck is this? Ooh, hearty truffle! Yes, I love I love hearty food. Ow. Ow. Okay, so it's a big base. Alright, I'm saving here. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna fight these guys. Gotta eat some food. Oh my god, what is that one? That one has a lot of armor. Alright, bomb time. I broke his armor. Ha ha ha, get blurry rush, bitch! Yeah, let's -a go. Oh no, blood moon. Oh, there's a blood moon. No, I don't think that's a blood. There's a blood moon yet. I mean, it just was like. Whoops. Oh, it gives it an extra hit. Oh, 
Okay, I guessed right. I guessed right of what he was doing there. Bro's going in a circle. Come on, hit me. Oh, it still worked. Okay. I think Link is low. He was a bit low. Hit me. I want to parry it. I tried. Okay. Got him! <laughs> I'm so glad that worked. That was so cool. Ultra stamp moment. It was! It was! You're right! It was ultra stamp. <laughs> Dude, I literally just used ultra stamp in, in Tears of the Kingdom. Look at my shield on shield. This reminds me of uh, when there's a sword with a shield. It reminds me of when uh, of of, it, of what's it called? It reminds me of what's that movie? How I Train Your Dragon, the first one when when Astrid has an axe. Uh, her axe sucks to the to Hiccup's shield. Let's throw this. How do we open these? HA! I just took the cage! I just took the cage and then I got the stuff inside! Yo, yummy! And I could just keep doing that because you can just un you can just unmorph it. Cage shield. Um. <laughs> Look, I've got a whole ass cage over here. <laughs> Bro, it looks like I I, I have a, a a mob spawner from Minecraft, dude. I I love this game. How does it just shrink and grow? Look, it just keeps shrinking and growing. Wow. All right, it just saved. Oh, three more chests and a guy to save. Yo, this guy get, better give me something for saving him.
Whoops. Nice. I'm looking pretty I'm looking pretty shredded right now. Like like I got I got the good stuff. Let me just take this and add like add a shield to this. Dude, look at that. I just have so much on my back. Want me to let you out? Let me see if there's a specific way I'm supposed to. Hinox hammer. Nice. Anything good? All right, we take the amber. Amber. Iron box to the end of a of a claymore, and then I br use that to break the rest of the iron boxes. Blackened crab. Hmm. Roasted bass. All right, let's see if I was supposed to use this or uh, not this, not this, um, this or something. Yeah, that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I know. Thank you. I'm saved. I, I despaired thinking no one would find me here. You might be wondering how I got here. A fine question. To explain, I must tell you about the blood moon. Some nights, no matter the moon's phase, it rises full and red. Precisely at midnight, the whole sky turns crimson. And then, defeated monsters appear again. There you have it. The blood moon. It, it is my life's work to research this event. Why do such- uh, why do the monsters revive? What connects them to the blood moon? I thought I, if I studied the monster's ecology, I would discover something, but I got too close, and here I am. Please take this for sam saving me. Salt grilled fish. Two hearts, bro. You want another? All right. Yeah! No, that's enough to properly convey my gratitude. Here. Yeah! Yeah, okay, we take those. Tonight's a blue new moon. The new moon is, is hesitant to show herself. Perhaps she's shy. Well, well, I'm sure we'll meet again. Now, quick, let's split up before a monster spots us. All right, bye then. Wait, I want to. I want to drop. I want to get a traveler's sword and change the traveler's sword. Then, then I want to fuse these together. A traveler's sword with a traveler's sword. Dude, uh, this is getting pretty, pretty, pretty quite crazy. Ooh. <laughs> cool. Boom barrels. We love the boom barrels. Alright, there's a shrine over there. Actually, no, I'm gonna go this way. I'm not gonna get those shrines. There's, There will be more shrines this way. The map that uh, uh, data gathering is so slow. It is. Oh, you mean the cutscene? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really slow, for sure. With something- she'll fuse with something that will get in the way, he'll fall, okay. Oh, 
Oh, he's having fun. He said, ha <laughs> ha. He, he literally, that was, that was laughs of joy. That's actually so cool. He, he, he's like, ha <laughs> ha. He was having fun doing that. Aw. I love this game. Link sounds like the zoomies, huh? What the heck is the zoomies? Oh, that looks like a Korok one. Ow. Box. Yep, Korok. Like... Likes the zoomies. <laughs> Out, rude. I have a wheel attached to it. Yeah, but even just the overworld feels bigger to traverse than Breath of the Wild. Is just me? Does that feel like four times bigger in this game? Three maps. Yeah, the, it does feel huge. Why do I want a wheel right here? See if this works. Almost died. This is the direction I want to go. Link sh should learn how to swim uh, swim pro properly sometimes. He's so bad at it. Yeah, he can barely swim. He can only do it for a little bit. Then he just flat out drowns. Oh shit! He's got good arrows.
Shock fruit. Nice. When cooked correctly, it, this shockingly tasting fruit simulates the consumer's muscles and grants increased attack power during thunderstorms. Oh, you're, you're stronger during thunderstorms when you have it. Blue book goblin horn. A, a two pronged horn with sharp edges and tips. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power or brew it into an elixir. I think he's extremely strong for being able to survive in the ton uh, in the tundra without clothes on. True. I want to drop this and then I want to use this. Forty nine freaking damage, guys. Forty nine damage. That's a lot of damage. That's some big boy damage. Yeah, you got that big boy damage. It's gonna be a while till I get there. You better believe I always go to the highest place just in case if there's something there. Eh, fine, I'll go over here. Gotta get that shrine in this thing. If you defuse an item, then re it refuse it. D it do does it get its durability back? Um, it gets a little more durability when you um when it fuses with it with a new weapon. Um, so yeah, kind of. Oh, with a new thing, new Seren stable. Frog. You cannot pet the dog. Not much of a wagon. Oh, customer, hi there, and welcome to New Seren Stable. I'm kind of in the middle of something, but if you'd like to use a stable, you can go up to the counter. What are you up to? Oh, well, since you asked. Enjoying yourself, kiddo? Yep, my king. This is super fun. Are you playing Tears of the Kingdom? There's armor that is immune to rain? Yup. After a long, tireless search, I found a wagon to call my own. Look at this butte. Okay, yes, clearly it's a fixer-upper, but I can replace the missing wheels using building materials from the stable. Then I just have to catch a wild horse to hook the wagon up to, and I'll be set. Yeesh, do I look like you can fix... Well, if, as if I want to pay you back, I give you all my savings, in fact. I can help. I can help you, bro. I'm just gonna get just so I can get them both at the same time.
There you go. <laughs> I'm playing on picking up a physical copy. Ah, nice, 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 nice. There's armor that's immune to rain. There is. Hmm? Huh? What? It's fixed? Yep. What's going on? It's fixed. Did you do this for me? Yep. Thank you so, so much. It's like a brand new wagon with wheels and everything. Yep. Now I'm only one step away from my dream of having a horse-drawn wagon. Of course, that last hurdle is the hardest, catching a wild horse. As soon as I get near a wild horse, it runs off. How am I going to catch one? Wait! This is what's his name! Hmm? It's Kato. I heard that you and Princess Zelda had gone missing. I'm thrilled to see you alive and well, but where's Princess Zelda? No idea. Hope it crashes. Bruh. Wow. Wow. Rude. Huh? I see. So Princess Zelda's whereabouts are still unknown, you say? Since that is the case, Link, I encourage you to go and speak with Lady Impa. She's right over there. Oh, Impa's right over there? I believe she may have some useful information that relates to the search for Princess Zelda. Okay, bet. I did not think... Okay, I'm gonna go get the horses, then I'm gonna go there. Alright, let's 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 eat some, my, my stealthy stuff. Hi. <laughs> All right, we're fine. We're fine. Gotta go avoiding spiller. It's all right. See a king. I didn't even hit you, dumbass. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Hmm, it seems that you're not a member yet. Our stable uses the Stable Association's member system, so you'll need to register if you want to use it. May I ask for your name? Link. Link, alright, Mr. Link. There, you're all signed up. Now, would you like to, me to tell you about the stable system? Tell me, and allow me to explain. You can board with your horse companions with us, and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. There's a limit to how many horses you can board, but you're off. Uh, you're able to swap them in and out as you please. Once again, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit counter inside. N now, how can I help you? Register a horse. Understood. Your horse will be in good hands. Yes. I want to register it. We charge 20 rupees. We got a special promotion going on right now, so you can register your first horse for free. Well, then I'll move on to the registration pr process. First, please enter a name for your horse. Um. Uh. I'll go with. Um. What am I gonna do? Wait, wait, guys, should I name my horse after one of you? That's a thing that people do with Pokemon, so I don't know if people we do that here. We could do that. I'm gonna name it Omar. Nine characters in it isn't much. Yeah, it's not. Alright, we got Omar though. <laughs> you were the first one to say something. Board horse. Is me, is you, is you. You're so safe with us. Thanks for using the stable. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot how to explain how pony points work. That's right. It's a reward system you can use at, at stables. In short, every time you use a surface, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Because you use New Serene Seren uh, stable for the first time and register a horse with us, you get two pony points. Use... 
using a stable earns points. Collecting points grants rewards. Points needed for the next reward won. The points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, and other information. Come back again anytime. Okay, actually, I'm curious. Receive reward. Ah, uh, yes, I'll be right with you. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? If you save up just one more point, you'll you'll receive a towing harness. Very useful item. You can, you can use it to hook up your horse to various things. We appreciate your patronage. patronage. Hi. Hello, welcome to Rito Stable. I, no, that's not right. I meant to say New Seren Stable. Oh. Right. Yeah, sorry. I just moved here from Rito Stable, so I keep saying the wrong name. Rito Stable. It was a stable much like this one, but in front of Rito Village to the west of here. Uh, the big cold snap shut it down, though. I think it was replaced by a newspaper company or something. <laughs> I heard about that. Hebrew was always cold, but it's gotten really bad. If you go to Rio Village, you need to prepare for extreme weather. Uh, oh, by the way, please take this. Oh, nice. I don't need any more. So if you'd like to use the stable, please talk to the shopkeeper at the, at the center counter. What's this guy doing? Let's see. What's in this issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette? What's the news? Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to Burrito. Burrito Village is facing a food shortage as cold winds make travel to the village dangerous for resident and visitor alike. That's awful. It sounds like anyone trying to get to Burrito Village needs to prepare themselves for a harsh freezing weather. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Other stories. Blood Moon brings dangerous nights. But be wary, dear readers. On nights when a blood moon rises, so too do monsters that have been defeated. Huh, this reminds me of that researcher who was studying the blood moon. They were really excited to visit a monster fort and examine the relationship between the monsters and the blood moon. I hope they're doing okay. I don't know if they'd be able to hold their own in a fight. There's so much to read in these papers. It's strange to think that I can learn about world affairs just by reading the paper. Those magnificent geniuses at the Lucky Clover, Clover Gazette. So this is, I feel like this is actually showing, like, innovation. Because they learn, there weren't newspapers before, but now there are newspapers. Yeah, that's like innovation stuff. Like that's really cool. Hi, Impa. What is it meant to depict? Ah, <laughs> she's so short. I never saw her standing up before. What a surprise it is to see you here after all this time, Link. Impa, the Sheikah Elder. I heard you had gone missing. It, it, there's just a bird stuck in the sky over there. It is certainly a relief to see you back in, in one piece, more or less. Hmm. And Princess Zelda, where is she? Oh. What? She is still, still yet to return? In that case, we must use all available means to research for her. Link, when Princess Zelda went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. During the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere, images that sprawled across fields and hills. We're calling them geoglyphs. I understand they have been found in locations across the kingdom. Huh. Kato and I are traveling from region to region in hopes of seeing them all. I noticed this geoglyph from a distance while standing on high ground. Examining it, it up close, I could not m make out what it depicted. I thought it might have... A better view from up, from up in the sky. I, I took to the air and, they, and the balloon Pura gave me, but then, alas, uh, the wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off the base. I have racked my brain for new ways to reattach the two parts, but to no avail. Is there another part? I fixed it for you. Oh, you fixed my balloon? Thank you, Link. Will you come with me to look at the geoglyph then? Sure. Okay. I'm gonna head out then. And oh, ah, I nearly forgot. Would you mind doing one final thing for me? Light a fire there and the balloon will start to float. Then we can be on our way. All right.
Hot! You think? How else did you want me to light a fire? Flint? No way. <laughs> Who would use flint to light a fire? Too high up, I feel faint. Finally, we can see it. The geoglyph. Well done, Link. I love how she has steps, uh, step ladders, a step stool. You know, I read something in the village's old literature, a passage about what the ancients called dragon's tears. Where the tears rest upon the earth, we mark down the images to which they gave birth. I believe this geoglyph is one such image, but not. But even from this vantage, its it, its meaning is no clearer to me. Nor can I figure out what dragon's tears might be. Ah, uh, the tears of the kingdom. But you know, it is. If the literature is correct, one of them might should be quite close, near the geoglyph, or even within its borders. Would you look around? This could be the the clue we need to discover Princess Zelda's whereabouts. If you would like to examine the geoglyph from ground level, you can float down with a paraglider. No need to worry about me, I can manage a simple landing. Uh, according to Impus, hidden somewhere in the geoglyph is something called a Dragon's Tears. Search the most likely spot to find it. That looks like it. Yeah. Examine. Whoa! <laughs> funky looking grass. <laughs> Very funky looking grass and water. Why is it all green? Ew, green grass, green water, nasty. Um, wait, is Zelda teleporting? Wait, am I teleporting to Zelda? Wait, are we back at the start of Breath of the Wild? Where the heck are we? Where are we going? What's happening? <gasps> it's Zelda! It's Zelda! Yo, Zelda lore! Where? What's going on? Is she dead? Rip. El Bozo. <laughs> She's got a tear. She's got a tear. What? What? Oh, she's saying it. Oh, dear. <gasps> Did she go to the afterlife? Or the zone I are? Huh? Oh, she's a Zonai. Who are these people? It's Raru, I think. Unless that's just another Zonai. We didn't mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. My name is Sonia. And could we ask what your name is? <laughs> he doesn't say what his name is. I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule, Zelda. What an unexpected answer. We are the king and queen who founded Hyrule after all. Or at least we were the last time I checked. You huh? founded Hyrule? And you're the king? Wait, did she go into the past? My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. King Raru? And Queen Sonia? But that must mean... Oh crap! She's in the past! Zelda is stuck in the past! That can't be good! Time traveling? I d that was the last thing I expected. Actually, no, probably the last thing is space. But, oh my gosh. Memories, where am I? Wow. Gotta tell Impa. Oh, she saw. Link, you look distracting. What, what's wrong? <laughs> uh, quite a bit. Oh. 
Goodness, you say you had a vision? Sa saw mysterious figures? And then Princess Zelda? Hmm, the geoglyphs, the literature, the dragon's tears, and now a vision of the lost princess? What if these are all connected? Let us continue to examine the geoglyphs. They may contain further clues that lead to Princess Zelda. You know, according to the literature, uh, there's something to do with geoglyphs in the Forgotten Temple. The Forgotten Temple lies at the bottom of a canyon in Hebra. I think we should make our way there soon. Wait, what are we doing? To be found with... Found one of the mysterious dragons. Impa thinks that the mystery of of the geoglyphs might connect to something that's uh, that's inside the forgotten temple. It's located somewhere bo along the bottom of the canyon in Hebra. I mean, that's relatively closer to. That's kind of closer to where. And it's closer than where uh, where I am, where, where the Rito is. So let's go for it. Let's go fight a moblin. Oh, soldier's bow is strong. What if I just lit that on fire? So then they'd attack each other. Yeah, they're attacking each other! Oh, bro's chasing him. <laughs> He's chasing him with fire. I'm just going to sit back here and enjoy the show. Haha, <laughs> lit him on fire, bro. This is so cool. Oh, he got a headshot. Yo, the bull goblin it does not have stormtrooper aim. Dang, who's going to win? It looks like the, the bull goblins and the moblin are going to win, it looks like. Oh, but the strong one, the strong one's coming in. Yo, he's got the fire. He set him on fire. Oh, dang. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Oh, man. He's going for that one first. He wants that one. Yeah, he's getting him. Yo, but are they strong enough? Who can get it? Will the Zodai? The Constructs. Oh, it's only one more. You just gotta get close enough for the last one. Oh dang. Oh, he's getting it. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Will he keep him back? Will he get close enough? He looks like he got it. Yeah, there it is. And there we have it, folks. The Constructs won this battle. GG's. It just, it just fused a weapon too. Let's go! 1v1 situation and the constructs win. Yeah, and time to beat him up. Yummy! I love all the goodies. Now I just get to get all their good stuff. Throwing spear. That was actually really cool how you can do that. 
not the third party dude that was literally that that's that's what went that's that was just tricolor in a nutshell <laughs> two teams fight but then but then the fourth team just comes in and gets all the rewards it, it just like it is just it gets the paint that's what that's what happens anytime there's three pe three groups fighting the third one will just stay back until everybody get it. the other ones are dead oh i do have enough i want the box shield we love minecraft Okay, you can't tell me this doesn't look like a Moai. Bro, look from this angle. He's definitely a Moai. From this angle. Dude. We love cheating and using an eyeball. Where's the key side balls? Only have this kind of eyeball? Yeah, you're not getting away, bit. I love that you just fall over. Nintendo sure love their Moai. They do, they do, they do. Yeah, we actually got a lot of distance there. <laughs> Summering butterfly. I just had, I just had an idea. What, what, what's the idea? What's the idea, eyes? Also, hi, ink killer. I, sorry, I never, I, I saw your message, just I forgot to say hi because I was doing something or something. Oh, they've got a wagon. Let me, let me, let me kindly seal that. Nice. Oh, come on. Please just you made it to Rito Village. Nice. I, just, I rem remember the car can time guard you. You move with Ultra Hands every night with him as friend. Yeah, I threw him into the void twice. Yeah, of course I remember him. Wait, did I never get that shrine at this at the stable? Yep, I never did. I forgot.
Yeah, you can't take that off. Is he a fusible item? I don't think so. Ow, rude. All right, let's go. This, is, this, this game is the least Legend of Zelda the Legend of Zelda has ever been, but I like it a lot. Already favorite game in the series. Same. It's like just, it's so different, but it's a good different because it's just so awesome. It's just so good. Fire and ice. Ooh, we love fire and ice. Okay, I'm guessing I need to melt this a little bit. Yeah. There we go. I'm glad I was right about that. They took the sandbox elements of Breath of the Wild and, and dialed it to 11. Yeah. The runes on this game are way better too. Yeah, I love the runes. Oh, I, th I realized I could have just used the rune here. I think that's... Oh, I... There we go. Zonite Spear. Let's shut this. Now what the hell do I do? I supposed to build something to climb? <laughs> Guess you're not supposed to do that. Okay, what's behind that wall thing? And why do I- why is it required? Tiny little ice cube. Oh, is this this one's supposed to die? Oh. 
Come on, man. Okay, you have to wait till it lands. Okay. But what I, but what do I do with this? Do I put it under this fire for some reason? Oh, yep. <laughs> this small little buck, yeah. All right, that's how you do it then. Okay. Need one more, then I can get something. I usually go stamina first once it starts letting you choose. I mean, it's just what I did last time, so I think I'll do that again. At least get a full stamina wheel, because stamina is everything. And just arts are just don't get hit or just have healing stuff most of the time. Blue Nightshade. Stealth. Whoops. Follow me, Keys. They're not. They disappeared. Wait, wait, I went too far. <gasps> this is the Forgotten Temple. I'm guessing I need to go down. Donkey. Is he around here? Wait, what am I looking for? A person or what? I connect to something that's inside the Forgotten Temple. Okay, so I'm supposed to get inside the Forgotten Temple. But how? Wait, does this go inside? Wait, is that a... That's a Black Book Goblin, wow. I've never gotten prime meat before now, bruh.
Oh, here he is. Lady Impa. Oh, Link, I was so pleased that you, you've come here as well. To be honest, Lady Impa deduced that there was something related to the geoglyphs here. It took some effort for us to get up here, but we managed it. That, but then Lady e. Impa grew impatient. The, the moment I took my eyes off her, she went deep into the temple all by herself. Once I finished mooring the balloon, I planned to hurry after her. Alright, going in. There are not a bazillion guardians this time. Forgotten place doesn't even have the difficulty anymore, huh? Where did Impa go? Have we gotten this before? Is that Impa over there? No, that's a shield. That's a really good shield. I meant to break that. That way I can grab this one. Roasted wild berry. Did Impa go? these ice fruit a fruit that generates cold when struck it cooked correctly it gives off an effect that strengthens muscles and increases attack power in cold temperatures hmm oh oh this isn't this still isn't where impa is okay where is impa then also i don't remember the temple being this shape Whoops, missed to the ladder. Cool Sofalina from Breath of the Wild.
I cannot find her anywhere. Oh, dang. Roasted tree nut. Where the heck is she? Could she be up there? I don't think so. I mean, they keep getting places where you don't expect them to, so you never know. Ooh, another chest. Nice. Where could she be? Where the heck is she? Is she just over here? No. Nice. Little tiny ones right that even work. Oh crap. I'll just climb then for the last bit. This cloud gives you a chance to think if you want to exit or uh, when you want to exit or not. That deep, dang. 
She went pretty deep. Yep. I thought that was a dragon. Finally getting good bows. All of a sudden I just got like three or four b good bows. There she is. Okay. We found Impa. My Yao Si Shrine. Where could it be? Oh, Link, thank you again for your help with the balloon. I believe there is something related to the geoglyph somewhere within this temple. I'm searching, but the, but so far it has been in vain. The chambers here are enormous, so it will be a difficult task at best. Where could it be? Oh, she's fast and agile if she got here pr if that fast. Faster than I even got to to the location. <laughs> She's got some powers we did not know of. Building blocks. Wait, didn't we already do one with that said something blocks? Maybe not building, but something blocks. I'm guessing I'm supposed to make it. Oh, nice. I like it. I like it already. Nice. Dude, we're doing- we're literally doing the, the- those Splatoon levels where you have to make the boxes exactly the same as- as what's shown on the side. Oh wow, this boat is strong as hell. Dang. First time I pick, picked up a rupee. All right. All right, this might take a second to use. Dude, if you accidentally fuse this, you might be, you might be doomed, really. You want to try to fit the biggest piece first because it'd be the hardest to fit. Let's see if it works even though it's not even. It did. Easy dub. I'm relatively good at those kind of puzzles like 3d cube like pieces puzzles i don't know what they would be called well i'm pretty good at them yay
shapes. Yeah, shape puzzles. Cause I I'm I, I passed preschool, so I'm good at shape puzzles. Yay! Imagine going to preschool. Or school ever. The chambers here are enormous, so it'll be a difficult task at best. Where could it be? She's looking for something she found before here. Okay. You went to two years of preschool? Dang. Yeah, I've never been to pre preschool. I or middle school or a high school. I was I was homeschooled my whole life. I did I, except for like two or three months in elementary school. In third grade. Then we stopped. Oh my god, that's a broken goddess statue. That's not good. Ooh, gotta set. Uh, there's something over here. What the hell? I want to jump in the middle. Some water inside. Okay, it's just like decorative. Oh, what the heck are those? Sundelian, a wild plant that grows in the sun at high altitudes. Soaked in sunlight, it, its petals can restore health completed by gloom, um, depleted by gloom use when used in cooking. Wait, so, but it's not anywhere near the sun. How is that working? Love that I can just see all objects with this one. Ooh, this looks cool. Ooh, cutscene? Cutscene? Eyes? Something's happening. <laughs> ah, this place. Lady, Imp Lady Impa, let's head down. We must investigate up close. There, upon the walls. Are those not geoglyphs? Hmm, what could this mean? Hmm, I believe the one we, we saw first was the geoglyph on the left e edge of the wall. As for the next painting, according to the floor map, it is near Rito Village. <gasps> Whoa, it's telling us where... Oh, I, it seems the locations of the other geoglyphs from the wall are marked on the floor map as well. I can hardly believe what my eyes behold. What, who could have guessed that this old ruin still held such secrets? It is said that the geoglyphs appeared all over Hyrule during the upheaval when Princess Zelda went missing. Hmm, how are they connected to these images here? Yeah, how did they know that they'll be exactly there? There's no time to dawdle. Let us hurry and investigate the remaining geoglyphs. Oh, la Lady Impa, perhaps you should rest a bit before such a, a trying journey. Link, if you happen to see a geoglyph during your travels, I urge you to investigate this matter as well. If more strange visions are waiting at the other geoglyphs, just like the one you already experienced, well, maybe they will provide clues that could lead us to Princess Zelda. All right. So we got to get in the memories. They look so bored. <laughs> hmm. Wait, wait, what did it say? If you intend to investigate the Geoglyphs, Korea, there's just one. Perhaps you could somehow make a copy of this map.
Examine. Ooh. A tear with a tear. Okay. Okay, that noise is getting annoying now. Bro, bro's the bodyguard and he's the one flinching and Impa's just like, I don't give a shit. What? This is not how, where I came from. I came from above it. Where is this? Where is this going to? <laughs> Perfect. Just checking if there's anything past this hallway. No. All right then. Oh, that looks good. Nice. All the way up. Wait, where could this take me? All the way out? Is it gonna take me all the way out? Whoa, I am extremely far up. Wow. Okay. I love that you can just use it anywhere that it actually would work. <gasps> Wait, it's what's his name? The artist guy. This is interesting. Picango, oh hello, always n nice to meet a fellow wanderer out here. In case you couldn't tell me, I'm a- tell, I'm a painter. Uh, I, yeah, cause his head, his hair is shaped like a paintbrush. I travel from place to place looking for scenery to inspire me. Lately, I'm specifically taken with the floating islands that have just appeared in the sky. I've painted many landscapes in my life, but that tiny island floating in the distance may be the most mysterious of all. Who put that strange little island up there? It's a- it's a fascinating shape, easy to paint too. You should go see it for yourself once the leather weather clears up a little. Okay. Let's go to mooring. Bro's here again. He's got another sign. OMG, is that Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, boy! Yeah, let's go. It's Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my god, what is that? There's a maze in the sky! 
Yo! Hi, Evo! What's up? I missed. <laughs> Wait, that's a fairy over there. That's a freaking fairy over there. Okay, let's get to the fairy. Dude, we're actually finding so much stuff. For whatever reason, Tulin just appears in the cutscene out of nowhere. Tulin? Who's that again? I forget. <laughs> oh, it's getting pretty hard to see here. They didn't do that in Breath of the Wild. That's cool. We're gonna go for that one still then. I'm gonna go to the top of the mountain first actually. If I can. I'm walking over, uh, up most of it. That's a Hydra! Let me see if I can capture that from all the way back here. Oh, I can't. That's a Hydra thing! Hey, so Evo, have you been playing the game? Do you play Tears of the Kingdom? You don't have it yet? Ah, dang. But you're planning on getting it? Cool. It didn't get lit on fire. Oh, it's faster than I remember. Ice Breath Lizolfo's horn. Especially if you fuse it, Zonite Sword are a really helpful early game. Especially if you fuse it with a Zo Zonite Construct Horn, yeah. Oh, that's a wing right there. That's the remains of that. I'm gonna just pin that so I remember that one. But we're going back to this one because it's closer to where 
I feel like you can go further away from it, it, uh, I feel like the edges are are farther um, in this game. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, droid make make cart shield. Cart shield. What if I do this? And this. You get a skateboard. Where'd that fairy go? Well. Yes, I lost the fairy. Too late now. Alright, we just needed to get started. So, I think I'm gonna drop two more of these. Oh my gosh. Don't, don't fall, please. Oh, come on, man. Oh, there's the fairy. This is definitely safe. It's a long stick, yeah. It's not even starting still. Bro, what the? There he goes. <laughs> Struggling, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Chukuni. Chukuni. Away with you. I don't want anything to do with the world ruined by gloom and ruled by monsters. Mija. It's cramped in here in my flower bud, but better than out there. I'll keep my blessing of a clothing enhancement to myself. Until I hear the sound of a horn bringing some lively music to the world, I'll never go outside again. 
I moved here to be near a stable or near enough other anyway so I could grace more travelers with my blessings. But now until I hear the sound of a horn bring lively music into the world, I'll never go outside again. Okay. They're gonna say the same thing, I think. Pura in this game? Dude, you're not- Exactly! What- Dude, why did they make Pura so hot? Help! The thing is, Pura's like right at my age, but except the fact that she's like a thousand years old before that. Her conscious is like a thousand years old. See, I'm not crazy? Dude, absolute wood. It's not even a question. Age is just a number- <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> nah. But yeah, she's like- she's gotta be like 16 or something. Cause she was prob- yeah. But why'd they have to make her so hot, dude? <laughs> So is 911 it's 911 I'm sorry I've read it like that <laughs> bro I can't read right I'm the miner here so am I Aha uh -huh, got him L plus ratio more minor I I I I'm a more minor Alright, let's go. Fairies need music instead of rupees now. Hmm. They're also the miner here, yo. Miners. Courage to fall. Oh, I need to fall. Hey, courage! Link and his courage. It's all about Link and his courage. Oh my god. Let's touch that. Ah! I did not expect that. Okay then. Bruh. Dude. Jump scare. Oh god, dude. They got me. Haha, <laughs> my stick is longer than yours. Don't take that out of context. Sturdy long stick. Hey yo. Stupid ass long stick. Soldier construct two horn. Sharp hooked horn. I can do. Okay. Ah, my stick is longer than yours for 2023. <laughs> Dang, beat me. Yeah, you guys can make it an actual quote, so it's a bit goofier. Wait, there's a guy under there? How the hell am I supposed to get there? Whoops! <laughs> I wasn't looking! You might need to look where you walk <laughs> when you're in a shrine. <laughs> Lionel horns in this game look extra cool. Yo, I haven't seen them yet. But, wouldn't be surprised. Dude, the underground areas are my fave. I love the underground. I stayed there for so long earlier today. I, I, I was there for a while even after Robbie. Whoops. Well, now I know what it looks like to go back. It's faster than going up. Oh. All right, there's a guy down there. There's nothing here. Okay, we're still supposed to jump.
Made another one of those. Underground is scary. Underground Lionels are so hard to beat. They have freaking armor. Dude, you fought them. Sturdy long stick. Hey, yo. That's the sturdy long sticks. Hey, yo. Sturdy wooden stick. Everything's getting sturdy these days. Actually, I still need, it. need this. I'm going to drop this, though. Pearl can have my sturdy long stick. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. No. Hey, yo. I mean, yeah, but hey, yo. It doesn't count my shield. No, it show, still shows in stream. You know, gosh dang it. Ow! <laughs> it still shows on stream. I didn't, I forgot I was lower health. Aw, oh, dang, I have to start from the beginning. Wait, I have the weapons, though? Game over, indeed. Okay, good, they're not there anymore. Here we go. My dragon doesn't matter. Dragon D's nut. I don't know why I ate those. Yeah, get burnt. Well, this one seems kind of long. Mmm, toasted robots. Try fusing a bomb flower to your shield. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't want to blow up the shield. Or myself. I know you got these, and I'm pretty sure I, it would, it would bl blow, blow up me, <laughs> blow me up. If you tell me to do it, I know I should not be doing it. There's a key I need to find somehow. You should totally do it. I don't know about that.
Where's the key? There's nothing that I haven't explored yet. Right? You can make a magic wand if you fuse a stick with an elemental stone. Yo. Also, whoops, but actually I think that's what I meant needed to do. Yeah, this is what I'm supposed to do. Dang. No way, I'm gonna try that. Yeah, this is definitely... Here it is. Small key. Then we go back up here through here. Then we get back to that because I like having the default on that. No! I barely missed it. There we go. My only complaint about this game is recall takes- it makes you stop moving, but it makes sense. Yeah. Whoops, I need the ball. We need balls. Same. My only complaint is that Tulin takes a second to appear in one cut scene. Dang. Kinda want new attack patterns slash animations. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay, so I mildly lost my ball. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it back. <laughs> Dang. There we go. Did the ball freaking fall off? Bruh. Link does a little finger snap after he ends recall. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Alright, now I probably won't shouldn't throw it. That's gonna get this, so I can have a wing, yay! I was supposed to bring the ball with us. Huh. 
I was supposed to freaking bring the ball with me. Hopefully there's another one there. Cause I accidentally did that. No, I didn't mean I didn't mean to push the button! I hate this I hate this game. Bruh, this game is too good. It's too responsive, SMH. Almost got there. <laughs> Big jump. Good, attach. All right, let's go. There we go, we got these balls. We got these nut. There we go. We got this nut. Whoops. Hey, yo. All right, there we go. I love the concept of getting shrines and being able to teleport to them across the map. That's just so awesome. So you can go back to places without even finishing the shrine sometimes too, if you don't want to finish it. All right, this is the direction I want to go. Oh my God, I want to fight that. I want to fight that. Let's, let's go fight that real quick. I only have like 20 more minutes. Gotta head, head out, have a good stream. Bye, Chukini. Thanks for chilling. Have a good, have a good day, Dyke. Found a podcast where you were, uh, where you were in, I think. Oh yeah, I was in a podcast for one episode. Yeah. <laughs> that I completely forgot what goes down. Save some Boko kisses for me. Hey, yo. Oh. I thought we were simping for Pura, not the kiss Bokos. I don't know about that. Ooh, what podcast? What is it? Uh, the Splatcast I was featured on. Yeah, it was actually quite a while ago. On Spotify? Oh yeah, it's on Spotify and YouTube. All right, let's fight this guy. Let's do it. Boko is best ever. Oh, dang. Okay, we're gonna want some fire arrows. Bruh. Okay, so that might be a little hard to fight. I love that the game over is blue because of ice. Hey, that's the one I saw. Yo. Gets one shot. <laughs> yeah. You played Zelda on the Wii U. Famous last words. Let's fight this, guys. Yeah. Please don't see me this time.
There's not another one over here, right? Okay, you never know. All right, we're going over here. Good thing you avoided it. Yeah, that's gonna be rough. I am looking forward to being able to to being strong enough to fight that though. I love how it has an outline if it if you if it's fused or not. Might be an idiot. <laughs> also, I teabagged for it, it for its terrible eyesight. I mean, I can see it. Why can't it see me? True. All right, we're getting up there. You, you probably don't remember, but anyways, I said I was stuck on 55 subs when you were playing the Splatfest, but now I reached 66. Yo, let's go. Progress. We love to see it. That's great, Squid Quit. Squid Kid. Yeah, that's a tower. Not like I'm relatively the size of a ding beetle or anything. Oh. Was it press the like on the live stream? Ayo, who hasn't? Who hasn't? Ice? You are SMH? Did you foregore? I think there was a yellow one at the Coliseum at the Plateau. Oh wow. Ye yellow on the dragon things that I've already forgot the name of. Yeah, this is the best way to get up. Dang. Thought it looked like a Hydra. Yeah, I kept calling it a Hydra before I knew the name. It's called a Gleok, I think, for for girl how slow snow makes you. Yeah, it's so annoying. OMG, a like up here. Yo, somebody liked. Let's go. The tower's over there. Okay, okay. We got to go over here, then back there. I love getting to a high place, then um, par then paragliding from it to where I need to, need to go. Snow doesn't make it harder to to climb, does it? I don't know. There you go, monkey joke hall. What quest is this? Um, I'm just getting this tower first. 
I'm getting a tower. Uh, then I'm gonna go then I'm going towards the Rito, uh, where, uh, where the Rito live. So night shield. Oh, there's another one here. Whoops. Strong construct bow. But you can't beat a dragon within the next three days. Oh yeah, I now I will because you said that. I might not have, but now I'm challenged to, and now I must. And I will post it on my second channel for proof. Anti food. Subscribe to my second channel. It's in my all my links, which Nightbot just plugged. If you want, if you. And it's also in the description. The Gliok? Yeah, the Gliok. I'm gonna post all of my mini boss fights in boss fights there. Because I'm a bit crazy when that- when I fight them. Might be entertaining. I won't ed it won't be edited, but just for people who miss it. Right, I'll fight him when I get home. Yo, you're gonna fight him? There's a set bonus that avoids fall damage. Oh, whoa. That's cool. Whoa, that's a big one. Wait, no, it's not. It, it was just zoomed in. Okay, I couldn't tell. Sky map updated too. Ooh. I'm going on to this Sky Island. East Hebra Sky Archipelago. What the heck are those? Battery, battery, fan. Okay, it's a battery. Might as well still, just cause. Actually, no. Let's just have it ready. Yo, you can control the vehicles with this, yo. Okay, so I need some fans.
I made a joke about these towers launching intercontinental c ballistic missiles to my brother. Bruh. I mean, we also called them nukes. Uh, it said, it said we were, they were launching nukes, so fair. Oh my god. I have freaking access to. They're shooting cannons at me! I have a- I have a sky vehicle! Dude, this is awesome! Flying machine's so cool, they're so awesome! Oh, what the heck is this? Oh my god, that guy. You wanna die too? You know, mildly- Mildly just gonna blow him up. Ooh, the headshot. This is actually insanely awesome. I love this. Oh yeah, I can just move it over here. And then turn it in the direction I need. Let's -a go. Wait, where'd the battery go? Crap. I don't have a battery, might be doomed. No, I can just do a little bit at a time. Okay, we're fine. Move out of my way. How far are you? I've gotten pretty far. They're using rocket arrows? Oh. Not so far in the game? Yeah, I don't think I'm super far, but I'm- I did some stuff. Wait, wait, I wanna launch myself? Is that what I'm trying to do here? Oh, ho, 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 ho. let's die. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, I want to save first in case this is going to kill me. I also I only have like five minutes left, so might be dead. Oh my God. Yo, that's so cool. We love the Koroks. Ooh, it went to the other log. If if it was far into the if if I was far into the game, I would have been scammed. True. It should not be that short. Then he wild ate away, waddle waddle, th till the very next day, blah, blah, blah. this means a bling. Okay, bye, anti food, see ya. I'll try to find a Gleok tomorrow or, so or the day after for you. Wait, wait, wait. This is one of those things. I want to. I want to get here. Korok. I thought there would be. I thought that was gonna be a memory thing on this thing. What the hell is attacking me? And from where? Oh, there it is. Thank you very much. Octorock tentacle. 
So long, fairly decent person. <laughs> so long. What happens if it's a bigger rock, a boulder? Cool, nothing. All right, let's see if there's any way to raid. Is anybody live? Oh, there's Beacon and Nick again. Oh, hi. You could not take my 37 damage weapon. All right, we're going to raid Beacon of Nick. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you for coming to the stream. I'll see you guys next time. I'll be play I'll be streaming tomorrow also just because I want to keep playing this game as much as possible. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye Evo. Thanks for chilling. Have a good one, everybody. See ya, Evo. I hope your game gets... I hope you can get your game soon. Bye.